the dog doing? What is up, everybody? What is up? We are live here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We are here at the T-Town's first inaugural RC Bash. What is everybody up to? Good afternoon, Morris Spoken. How are you? I'll tell you what, it was a drive. It was about a 15-hour drive for us. It was not bad. It was a pretty good drive. Um, got to see a lot of different scenic <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> And it is windy here. Like a hurricane. Hey, hey, Morris, how are you? Terry Lawson, what's going on? Let me go ahead and share this, get that out there. And um, they are going to start around 5 o'clock Central Standard Time um, with the um, Fast 16. I think so. So, Richie, tell me, what did you think about the drive here and it was getting uh, here? It, it was a good distance, but it wasn't bad. You know, I was expecting traffic to be a lot worse, but wasn't bad at all. But when we're kicking in right now, let's go ahead and thank our live stream sponsors for helping us on this one. Absolutely. That's going to be 217 NPRC Photography and Ghost. Yep. Aaron Klein. Yep. Can't thank them enough. And plus to all the sponsors for this race. I know we got BBM Performance and Parts on the right lane sponsor. We got RC Speed, Speed Cigarettes Secret. on the left. Yep. I'm taking over Valerie's spot because I don't know what she, I think she's gaming over there. I don't know what she's doing. I am sharing it, getting it out there. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. <clears throat> well, it ain't started yet. Um, it is actually Good Friday. So happy Good Friday to everybody. Um, and I hope everybody has a great Easter this weekend. We are ready for some drag racing. Are you ready for some drag I racing? I use, man. I use. What's going on, Micah? Oh, born in the house. Oh, born. What you doing? Kendrick Lucas, what's up? Joshua Shepard, what's going on? Now, um. I know y'all got to hear the wind. I, you know we apologize I mean? for the wind if y'all hear it. It is insane. Also, y'all are going to be able to follow along on this race at rcdryraces.com. So, y'all make sure y'all go and click on T-Town's first inaugural RC Bash on rcdryraces.com and you can follow along. Michael O'Born says, hey, Rich, what rec tech do you have? What rec tech do I got? I have the... Is it the 700? I don't know. I don't remember. You, I, need the the new one. I need the new one. I know that. What's going on, Louise Ortiz? Wait, it is Good Friday, LOL? Yes, it is Good Friday. What is mine? I think it is the, is it the 700 or something like that. Hey, Nathan Jacobs, how are you? But I want the dual fire. You want. With the dual fire. You want every single daggum griller is out there. That's the new one on the dual fire. What's going on, Gary Campbell? Gary, I wore the earrings especially for you. I thought you were going to be here. You psyched me out. What's up? <laughs> Melissa Smith, what's going on? Frank Greer in the house. What's going on, Frank? Um, I don't know all the racers' names by heart, so I'm not going to even attempt that right now. But um, I do know that we do have Jordan Farrow. We have... Um, Aaron Klein is here. Um, we got Dasterly Syndicate is here at the 217. Um, we got Matthew and Caitlin Hills. They're going to be your um, race director. And who there, else? There's a lot of people. There here. are a lot of people. Metro is here. Where did uh, um, Jared Mills was here? Yeah. I don't know where he got off to. But yeah, I was very surprised of all the people that was here. Um, it's nice to see them. We'll get to meet Scott for the first time in yes. person. So, uh, the maker, the creator of rcdryraces.com. Awesome job. I don't know job. if you've ever heard me say this, but I need to go <laughs> ahead and get signed up on there. And uh, if you run races, you need to run them off of there. Sean South, what's going on? He says, hey, fam. Leroy Butler in the house. What's going on, Leroy? Shane Renault is watching. What's going on? 
But we didn't put no tent up, that's for sure. And, no. uh, and the views, I hope it's okay. Um, we're actually doing the best we can with hurricane winds. Um, <laughs> uh, uh. Just a heads up. Um, aloha, Webs. Aloha, Shane Renault, Leroy Butler. Yo, what's and, going on, James Duvall? And I want to show you all something. I know some of y'all don't like the movement, but um, <laughs> the camera, the one behind them, man, I actually have it sitting beside a trailer blocked by wind. Yes. Well, blocking the wind, not blocked by wind, but blocking the wind. And uh, it's got a, it's pretty far away. So that's why you have this thing zooming in so you can kind of see what's going on. Morris says, I'm interested in the gorilla tape thingy. They are trying that out here. And pretty much the racers have the options. What's going on, Stu Mac? Clinton Tarbox is in the house. What's going on, Clinton? <coughs> Gary Campbell says Tulsa loves its wind. It must, because when I looked it up, it was like the wind was like 22 miles per hour with wind gusts of 40 miles per hour. Come on now. Well, when we were on the way here, we were like thinking of 12, and we were thinking, wow, that's, you know, we know how 12 sucks. But when we get here, it's 40. <laughs> we're like, oh, my God. Orange Mound, what's up, y'all? Hey, Jason White, what's going on? But we made it. Another one we're going to be doing live. So uh, get to show off another area. This one's a good race because it's a benefit race. It's a benefit race. race. And uh, that's always a good thing. And, and people coming in to help. And, you know, it just makes a difference. It shows RC community all pulling together and working together. Good morning, Stu Mack, what's going on? James Pinson's watching. What's going on, James Pinson? Hello, people from Clinton Tarbox. Hello. <laughs> and I tell you, we got busy, busy, busy. We got, <laughs> where were we at last weekend? Perry. Warner Robins. Warner Robins, Georgia, our hometown. Yep. This this week, we're where? Tulsa, Oklahoma. Next week, we're? North Carolina. Next week after that? <laughs> we got a lot. So. James Pinson says, what's up? What's up? Man, do you hear that? Oh, their camera down, it, camera down. What? Yeah, again. Just oh, leave it on the ground. Are you serious? Yeah. Y'all want to see that view? No. That's that view. It's down. What's going on, Robert Hurst in the house? <laughs> Jimmy Zebedil Petrie, what's going on? Yeah, that is a good camera view right there. You like that? I did. So, we might as well leave it where it's at. You can bring it over here if you want to and just cut everything off. Can I? I'll do it. You talk. <laughs> what I do. You're the production man. Why can't I be the production manager? You're the production manager. I mean, it's only two of us. What's up? What's up, Jimmy? Let's see. Once again, um, the Fast 16 will actually start at 5 o'clock is what Caitlin is calling for. And they are, they've are they been testing and tuning um, today. And the wind has been a factor. But so far, everybody has had a really good day of testing and tuning. We've had a really good time. They've got some great barbecue here. Um, it's just been a really good time. And we got 217 in um, photography. He has been doing some photography, so I cannot wait to see what those pictures are turning out like. <laughs> we want to see the view. Uh, What's up? Um, Jimmy Zabadil Petrie said, I want to see that view. <laughs> Dino. I turned it off now, so it's... What's it, going on? What's up, Wiz? What's up, Dino? Gary Campbell says, we'd rather hear her, LOL. <laughs> and like I said, this, this one's brought to you by Ghost RC. Yes. Right? The replay sponsor on this one is? 217 Photography. And y'all will see that when the replay comes up. Yep. And we always have to yes. thank all our backing sponsors. Absolutely. Our backing sponsors are the ones that actually help us get the uh, equipment and stuff that we need to keep this lives coming to y'all. And they are going to be, of course, the one and only Voodoo Shark RC Bodies, Five Stars, CJC, BBM Performance and Parts, RC Speed Secret, Ron John's Raceway, Beast RC and Straight Line Spoiler. Whoa, this wind is terrible. 
What's going on? Tom Rockwell in the house. Carlo David, John J. Dell, what's going on? We did go live a little early. We wanted to make sure that the cameras were going to be working right and that y'all could hear us. So y'all give us some feedback. Let us know about the camera angles and um, if y'all can hear us and see us good. And in a little bit, we do have Caitlin ready to go. And once the race actually starts, we'll, of course, um, turn it over to her. And I will actually be keeping <laughs> up on rcdriveraces.com. I don't know why I got that one on there, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, Chris, Hamilton, what's going on? But um, we'll be following along on rcdragraces.com as well and um, kind of keeping you all up to speed where everybody stands. Yep, and like I said, we got a microphone on Caitlin too, yes. so if she calls out times and all yep. that, y'all will have that like always. All right, let me go in there and take that one off. I don't <laughs> Galindo Rubin, hey, hey, what's going on? Steve James, what's up? Oh, that was the camera that went down. That's why that was there. Steve James says, what's up, sweetie? What's up? <laughs> he might be talking to me. <laughs> Is he talking to you? Uh-huh. That's what that, we're going to that gas station. they like, that's cute. You pretty. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> You're pretty? <laughs> They're talking to you, but I always thank them for it. You thank them for mm -hmm. it? Mm-hmm. Be like, so pretty. They say you're so pretty. No, they say you're pretty, but I pretend like it's me because it makes me feel good. <laughs> Man looks windy. It is absolutely windy. Um, let me just update y'all what the wind is right now. It's insane. Okay, hold on. I'm pulling it up right now. Give me a sec. Y'all ever seen the what was it, Ravats? <laughs> okay. Currently, okay. Currently, the wind is 22 miles per an hour. And the wind gust is 39 miles per hour. It went down by one, one point. That's crazy. Richie is more than just a voice. He is a sexy beast. Thank you, man. <laughs> What's going on? Joe Oles is in the house. What's going on? Dylan Deese, how are you? Like I said, now is the time to go grab you something to drink, grab you something to snack on, go use the bathroom, go do whatever you got to do, get ready for some great racing. What's tonight, Friday? It is Friday night. So there's probably people, their neighbors are probably home unless they went somewhere <laughs> for Easter. So they should go tell them that we were seas on. <laughs> go tell your friends, go, go tell your neighbors. You got time to jog around the neighborhood and start yelling. Subscribe to webrcvideos.com. No, they ain't .com on videos. <laughs> Galinda says she grab onto them hats. I, everybody has been holding their hats down. <laughs> um, Aaron Bells, how's it going? It is going good. <laughs> he said, or wigs. <laughs> A couple of them been lost today. Oh. <laughs> now I've got a picture of a lady walking by her wig just blowing off. Well, it's got to be a lady. Brad Bray, prob problem pretty cool there. Yes. <laughs> Um, actually, the weather is not, I mean, the temperature is not that bad. It's just windy as all No, it feels out. real good. The only problem is, like, every once in a while it pushes you down and you skin your knee. <laughs> you skin your knee. <laughs> Thomas Liberty, what's going on? Like I said, this is a benefit race. Um, Shaw, he, he is a avid RC racer. And um, anyway, so the benefit race is for him. <laughs> what? He brings out anything and everything. Matthew, yeah. He crazy. He's an RC lover, though. Gary <laughs> <laughs> Campbell. He says it's going to blow someone's dentures out at that rate. <laughs> God, I hope not. Uh-oh, let's see how this one does. Got a little nitro. Mm -hmm. Sorry, y'all. I want to see how this nitro does. Oh, he turned it off. Trying to burn it down. <laughs> Jack, what's going on? Aaron Bell says, laughing my ass off, Gary. 
Mike Morris, what's going on? Glenn, how are you? Gary Campbell, this live sponsored by Poly Grip. <laughs> 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 That's funny. I don't care who you are. What's going on, Tim Siegfried? How are you? Oh, look at that Corvette, Richie. I see that Corvette, right? Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Galindo says, damn, nitros. <laughs> I tell you what, I, I love the nitros. You like the smell because we used to fly airplanes, and mm -hmm. that's what it smells like. And the sound. Yeah. My airplanes sound meaner than that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah. Tim Seafried, hey, how are you guys? We are doing good. You're one of the few who got my last name correct. Thank you. I try, I try very hard because my name is Valerie, and I have been called everything in the book. <laughs> well, start so, acting right. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Galindo says they are awesome, but I hate the maintenance, LOL. Nelson, how are you? Aaron Bells, I have to bring out my nitro drag sometimes. Absolutely. I tell you, though, um, I've seen a couple of them uh, street eliminators that's turned into, you know, same with gas uh -huh. or nitro. And uh, they look good, don't they? They, they sound do. good. Probably right. the only thing that's good on my damn airplanes anymore. They sit so long as <laughs> just the motors and the damn uh, nitros and the servos, maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know that as long as they've been sitting, maybe not. Yeah. Tim, he's laughing at me. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, Jordan took it for a flight. Did he? Yeah, you didn't see that at the I, end. I wasn't paying attention. We gotta tell her that we're doing a live stream. Does she know that? So that we can make sure that we can see. You gotta can't stand around the thing. Who? They don't know everybody. Well, who, who's standing? Oh, uh, okay. Hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is it we do? do you do. You do. Let's see, I'm going to check on her thing. All right, I'm back. What? Don't say that name, LOL. <laughs> What's up, Lee Graham? What's up, everyone? What's up? B. Karakov, how are you? Kevin Tanksley, how are you? Jonathan Thompson, what's going on? Did you tell her? Yeah, I did. And I'm going to have to go through again. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. What's up, everyone? What's up? <laughs> What's up? Sticky goo goo. Sticky Goo Goo. <laughs> I do believe that's the name of your new car, is it not? Steve James. Waited on 5 o'clock. Yep, waiting on 5 o'clock. That's what everybody is doing, waiting on 5. I tell you what, though. It has been a fun day out here. Um, I got to see the better part of Jordan Farrow. You did? I did. I got to meet Chloe. Did you? I did. I didn't get to meet her yet, I don't think. You didn't? I don't think so. She's very sweet. And um, 
So we, nothing like Jordan. So, <laughs> so we we have a lot of um, we can relate to each other. Oh dear. Yeah. Kevin, hello. It looks a little windy. Yes. Um, I was saying earlier that the wind was currently currently ugh, 22 miles per an hour and wind gusts up to 39. Yeah, it's a little windy out here. If you notice, <laughs> most everybody, I think there's only two tents now still st standing. Everybody else took their tents down. <laughs> yeah, they're all going. Man. Yeah. Um, what's on the docket for this afternoon? Well, we are um, here at T-Town's first inaugural RC Bash. It is a benefit race for Shaw. Um, we are here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And you are going to actually be able to follow along at rcdragraces.com. Um, we were going to put it on the screen and yeah. have it like we normally do. But um, with the wind, I think the monitors would be on the other side of the track. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> yes. Um, I think everything would be on the track right now if we brought out everything. Uh oh. <clears throat> Shoot, what is the name of that one? Is it the infraction? Yep. Those are some good running cars right there. You don't like them. That's the same thing that broke I your foot. I know. That's the same thing that broke my foot, but they're fast. I just learned not to stand at the finish line anymore. Yeah. What's going on, Dan Bricotti? Oh, it did spin out. Street Eliminator was hauling tail. Did you yes, see that? Yes, I did. Was that me, Joel? Mm -hmm. um, Caitlin will actually be calling out the times. <clears throat> if she remembers correctly, she will call out the times and the ETs and all that, um, along with the racers' names and stuff. But you can also follow along at rcdryraces.com and check out T-Town's first inaugural RC Bash there. And if y'all see on the screen the guy right there sitting in that chair right there, he is the creator of the best bracket system <laughs> on the market right now, right? RCDragRaces.com. I don't know if I've the ever said anything about Scott it. Davis. Like I said, uh, y'all go check it out. Cliff Hines, what's going on? Anthony Lofton, how are you? Have you checked out the 217 um, Dastardly Indicate um, T-shirts on the back? They're they, I love them. What it's awesome. They? You'll see when they come up. It's awesome. I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh. Hey, from Virginia, what's going on? Do you see it? What does it say? Huh? Dastardly Syndicate. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is, is that a little... It's got the cartoon character. Uh, yeah. Do you remember? Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. That's an old thing. Yeah. What's going on? There's Jared Mills. Where? He tuning in on the live. What? Jared. You're like right around the corner, dude. Come Great. on back. <laughs> you should not have left. We told you, man. You didn't have to leave. We would have bought something. But no, we got to go get a ham sandwich or something. <laughs> Jared Mills has left the building. Tech home, everybody left the building. Look. <laughs> Where did I go? <laughs> everybody, it's race time. I'm out. Jared Mills says hi from six miles up the road. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I was getting hungry. <laughs> no, he said, hangry. Hangry. <laughs> hangry. Oh, that me hey, hey, baby. <laughs> come here. She came over beside me and licked my arm. I was like, what? Um, Brad Bray says, wish I could get out and run right now. I'm trying to get a baby to take a nap. Dad life problem. <laughs> I remember them days. Yep. <laughs> um, see, that, see, what I used to do with our babies to get them to take a nap is I'd take a nap with them. <laughs> Not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many times I'd come home, but they'd be all asleep on the floor in the living room. Just <laughs> like y'all had a party. <laughs> <laughs> hey. But all the babies were down. Everybody was peace. 
peace. <laughs> that there was peace in the house. Okay, they're supposed to be doing the RC on the track. <laughs> I think everybody's getting ready. Um, he's checking out there. Got a. Yep. He stays busy, don't he? Is that Travis? Yep. Uh, Travis, he's a good dude, man. Uh, you know, when somebody needs some help, he's always there to jump in. Um, and uh, yeah, I know y'all been watching, man. He's getting faster and faster, it seems like, don't it, there? Yep. And I know his better half is either here or she's on the way. That'd be Cassidy Barnard. Chris Fristo, what's going on? And, uh... Yes. Can you see the banners? I know you got CJC R. You want to do it? CJC R1 Works, um, Fafo Hobbies on time screen printing, Red Monster, A Main Pro Tech, SCD Power, I believe. And then I don't. Um, on the banners. The other one's flapping in the wind. I think it says uh, Associated, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Once it comes in, I'll let you know. <laughs> What's going on, Chris? Um, Chris Fristo and Jason Zarb. How are y'all? All right, Caitlin. And we what got you some. Doing? We got some uh, good races for tomorrow, right? Yes, races, we do. We're gonna have the main race tomorrow. Tomorrow. You know the times or anything yet? Would you like me to bring it up right quick? I think that'd be something to talk about. What's going on, Brandon Lynch? something to talk about all right it is five o'clock i uh, bet they're getting everything situated right now what you think i don't know you know what yeah you, know you know how your brain works just stupid sometimes <laughs> you know what was in my mind just a minute ago i was just thinking oh god stand back i just got some reason started thinking about them chili dogs from that down race last weekend huh? they were good were they <laughs> not <laughs> I, was, uh, <laughs> I don't know why Shady side. Yeah, that's one thing to make sure you remember. Shady side has a race. Y'all come on out because uh, the chili dogs are off the chain. Okay, tomorrow registration starts at 8 a.m. Test and tune. Whoa, Jesus. Uh, test and tune is 8 to 10. Drivers meeting 10:30. Racing starts at 11 a.m. Sorry, y'all. About got knocked out of the chair. It's fine. Good lord. My Jesus. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but it is windy. Auntie M. Auntie M. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. I tell you, there's so much wind that if a gust like that hits when they're going down the track, you see it. It'll blow the car. Oh, over. absolutely. I mean, they have they swap lanes almost immediately, don't they? About it when it pushes it over. Now, okay, I I have to be honest. I know they're blowing off the track, trying to get the leaves off of as much as possible. And but dust, the, but, but the wind, yeah, that's a losing battle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. Now Mother Nature's got this for you. Uh, Melissa Smith, what's going on, Frank Greer, Brenda Lynch, howdy. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. And if any of y'all are on travels or are on your journeys, I guess, for Easter, y'all be safe. Huh? She put what camera away? She put camera away. Oh. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> be all right. <laughs> replay. <laughs> replay. <laughs> I said, I said the, top, the top of the camera. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> That would be a picture. I'd rather the wind blow it over. <laughs> I cannot get over the wind. The poor tree, man. I don't see how that tree is hanging on, but uh, it, it is hanging. Yeah. Whatever bolts they're using, we'll find out. <laughs> Cause it's, is it, it is crazy windy. Yeah, we've, we've, we've like, from, we're we're from, from we're, Georgia, and they don't, gets, <laughs> they don't even build our fences strong enough to hold up to this, do they? Barry? If, no. If a wind gust came by our house, our privacy fence would probably be in the neighbor's yard, wouldn't it? 
<laughs> like last time. Yeah. This is, I've never seen wind this strong before. Except there was a major storm. Well, yeah, I mean, tornado maybe, but you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm just thinking of the wind. All right, what are we doing here? You know, when we were pulling in, we were talking about the, you know, because I do this for a living, but the lines on the road. Remember, mm -hmm. I was talking about how crooked they were and how, you know, saying how our state wouldn't allow that. I don't think they had a choice. I think that the wind probably was blowing that damn <laughs> truck all over the road. You know what I mean? And I was, I'm sorry for talking shit about that guy. You know what I mean? He's probably doing a hell of a job. He's probably tired from trying to keep that thing half ass straight. <laughs> What's going on, Nick Hill, Jay Winslet? How are you? I've never seen wind this strong. And like I said, they're going to get the race. Thank y'all for tuning in and yes. watching, man, and just hanging out with us. Um, let me know if everything's working. Y'all can see it, hear it. Um, other than that, you know what I'm saying? We do apologize if you hear the wind in our um, mics and everything. We are doing the best that we can to block out the wind sound, but it is what it is. Come to Vegas. We're getting 50 to 60 mile per hour winds. Wow. Jesus. That is insane. Jeff McGee, Jam Racing is watching what's going on. I got to get him a seat. That was a good pass. Yeah. You I think, don't, huh? You think you, I'm trying to think of what would be the best to do because they kind of block it, but I can't bring the camera out more because I bring the camera out more, it's going to blow over as soon as I do yep. it. I can go to the right more and give it an angle shot. You think that would be better off, you think, so they can see that at least I'm racing down the track? All right, give me a minute. I'm going to try something, y'all, and y'all be truthful with me. <laughs> I know y'all will. So. <laughs> What's going on, Andy Jacobson? How are you? All right. I don't have a nothing on, do I? That's Indiana more. No. Why? I'm just wondering. Cause, okay. All right, y'all watch that one for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, we got the infraction running again. There you go. Oh, all right. I know y'all can't see that. Can you just raise it up? <clears throat> Actually, here, I think that's what he's fixing to do is raise it up some. We're just trying to be careful with it, guys. Um, of the wind. We got it kind of like blocked by a trailer, so that way, well, the wind doesn't knock it down. Hey, Nick Nick Hill said, can you just raise it up some? Well, the problem is, is the wind. I mean, if it, if it goes if it goes over the damn uh, trailer, if it gets any of this gust, it's going to go over. There's no way to, let's see. I did go up a little bit, but. It's hard to do uh, when people, when they crowd against the um, tree. Yeah. It's hard to get it. I think once the racing actually starts, I don't think they'll be doing that thing. I think that right now they're just trying to get times and confirm stuff. Yeah, because if, if the wind wasn't here, <coughs> I'd put it on that mat right behind her. Yep. You know what I mean? But like I said, it wouldn't last 10 minutes sitting there. 
Uh, Morris says, get some sandbags with Velcro straps to lock it down. Need to. We do have some weights in the car. You want to try it? Yeah. Remember how much that camera cost? Well, I'm just saying. I'm just know. making sure you understand so if that thing breaks, I'll get another one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the deal, yo. <laughs> I'll go get the weights. I'll be ready. I'm out on it. I'll go get it right now. But just, I just want the uh, yes, okay? We can do that. I can't say that because yeah. that camera was expensive as crap. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> do it for your fans. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. All right, I'll be right back. You what watch you, this? What you Go get the weights. No, 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 no. You just said no, 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 no. You ain't putting it on me. Tim, we, we just need a, we need a wind sponsor. <laughs> um, what kind of camera, Morris? I'll hit you up um, after the live and let you know. Don modeling what's going on. See, the thing is about this camera is it does the pan, tilt, and zoom. And so, and the view is fine. No need to damage your equipment. Thank you all. So, Richie just went to go get the weights. So, Y'all just bear with us. Man. Tony Hines, what's going on? Heading to another wedding. Dawn, you've been busy. <clears throat> All right, so is everybody traveling for this weekend? Because I know it's Easter weekend. Is everybody traveling or y'all um, just staying home and celebrating? Or what are y'all up to this weekend? Steve Blankenship, what's going on? Even with that wind blowing his... The cars are looking good. <laughs> James Benson, what's going on? All right, it does appear that he is in the process of moving the camera. Yeah. Hold on one second. Switch. Y'all just bear with us. Um, I would rather be racing than attending attending my wife's side of the family wedding, but it's the last one for the year. Awesome. Um, Steve Blankenship, what's up, Webs? What is up? Y'all just bear with us. Um, he's actually moving the camera around. He's strapping it down and putting some weights. an 
Mana ada ya? Don says it looks windy. It is absolutely windy. What? Don Modlin says it looks a little windy. I said it's absolutely windy. <laughs> Chad Witt, what's going on? Cassie Bernard, how are you? All right, what we got? What? A, you didn't even put it to it yet, is it? No. There it is right there. How about that, y'all? Much better. There we go. Now that I got insurance. <laughs> Wayne Alexander, what's going on? I got insurance. You got insurance? What kind of insurance? You, you said got? that if I, it blows no, no, over, no. give me a better one. No, I did not say that on the. On it was on the live. Everybody heard you. You said if this one breaks, you can get two. No, everybody is my witness. I did not say that. Can they lower the tree? Can they lower the tree? No, it's no. not. It, um, the way it's made is they actually got it bolted into the bottom of it. There's no way to lower it. That poor thing. It's just like yeah. the wind is killing today. Them weights fit perfect for that. See, see. We need to get another like three sets because you could put a couple more sets in there. Uh huh. And it would definitely hold it down. Mm hmm. Willie Nichols, what's up? Where are you guys at? We are actually in Tulsa, Oklahoma this weekend. We are, um, I believe it's called the O'Brien Park here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is um, T-Town's first inaugural RC Bash. Good afternoon, David Bulls. How are you? Terry Lawson, what's going on? I'm trying to see what we can get, y'all getting it tuned are you getting it tuned in not really but you know okay all right y'all i'm gonna zoom in just a little bit okay hey caitlin what's it looking like like it looks like it's gonna be windy <laughs> terry lawson what's up And see, what's so crazy is like we're from we're from Georgia, and this wind is like crazy, and everybody else just seems kind of ready with it. Yeah. Ricky Taylor, what's going on? All right, y'all tell me this don't make y'all motion sick, okay? But I'm trying to get <laughs> the best views that we can. All right, I'm gonna get in there with them. They got he got gone quicker. Happy birthday to Jet Ton. Yeah, um, that is that's Tony Ton's son, correct? And I think he's celebrating his second birthday. Is he really? Yep. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bring her in. I think. What's up, Clifton Williams? How are you? All right. <laughs> and on that note, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna not bring in right now. But I know we got Dino. Let's see what we got. I need to. Home. Just seeing where we're at, okay. so I can look at different things. Angie Mark McDermott, how are you? <laughs> yeah, that's why I've switched it on back to us right quick. <laughs> so 
talking about that. Yeah. All right. Let's see. We'll try this one. Here we go. Y'all good with the views right now, or? Oh yeah, Mr. Earl. What's up? Um, do you know? I mean, right, Don Monlin says that was a nice pass. Well, Mario Martinez, what's yeah. going on? Noah Balu, how are you? Okay, y'all, give us a thumbs up. Y'all, let us know y'all are good with the views. Go y'all are good with the sound. We got thumbs up. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. You gotta have gas in it to go. They are good. Okay. I got them on the thing right now. I'm sorry, y'all. I okay. forgot. I didn't. I'm doing this like I'm on a monitor. Good Lord. I know. I'm sorry. I'll get back to it in a minute, y'all. I'm, hey. I'm getting drunk, baby. I know. I didn't mean to have it like that. <laughs> What's going on? Ronnie Lemons, more spoken. I'm trying to get it set up where I can have that other one when okay. I move it back that they don't have to see it coming back because that, yep. that makes me dizzy. Ready? Ronald says, it looks good, sounds good. Mario, what's up, WebRC videos? Everything looks good. Thank you. Sorry about that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and give Caitlin a thumbs up that she is active. Okay. You want to mute, it, mute that? Why? Or you, yeah, go ahead. You're good. You can talk to him. Yep. All right. Just let her know she's live now. Okay. Russell. Russell. Okay. Dad is Russ. I got you. <laughs> I put the pair together. <laughs> <laughs> I am live on the mic. <laughs> Are ready? Watch the light. <laughs> we got a 162. I was trying. With a 3 5 or 3 4. It's reaction. hard to. Nice job, I was trying Russell. to flip the switches and everything while you were gone <laughs> and hold the chair down oh, at the same time. What's up, Papa RC? Ronald says, tell Robert Hurst, quit standing around. I, I will tell him. He's actually chit-chatting right now. Cody Dale, what's going on? Cassie Bernard says, I'm on my way listening while driving out. Brent Zimmerman, how are you? Sir, what is your name? We got Metro. Caitlin Hills is watching. Caitlin is <laughs> running the race right now. <laughs> Papa RC, what's up, Wes? Looks a little windy there. Jeez, just a little bit. Papa, the wind is roughly 22 degrees with wind gusts up to 39 to 40 miles per hour. Yep. All right, who we got in the left lane? Can y'all hear her? Brian Cash, hey you guys, Cash Money saying hello. What's up? Driver's ready. Watch the light. And once again, you can, um, once the racing actually starts, you'll be able to follow along on rcdragracings.com and follow along with it. Hey, what's going on, Biggie today? Paul? And let's go ahead and make sure we call out our live stream sponsor for this race. Woo! My God. Okay, Who go ahead. 
It's going to be 217. I can't. No, I, for what? the live stream for the race. Oh, I can't see. You don't know who it is? Ghost RC. Okay, then why don't you guys see it? <laughs> well, usually you pop it up for I me. I did. It's there, but you can't see it. It's the sun, so don't even try. <laughs> All right, we got Ghost RC, Aaron Klein, and then we have 217 NPRC Photography. Is our replay sponsor. Yes. And like I said, she said you can go to rcdragraces.com and follow along with us online. Uh, we normally would put that on the screen so you can see what's coming up with the brackets and the names and all that good stuff. But with the weather today, um, I just couldn't, you know, I couldn't bring the computer out and the monitors and stuff. It's just too windy. Papa said, got y'all on the big screen in the living room. No wind in here. <laughs> Thanks, Papa. How, how do you say it, Val? I'm jelly. jelly. I'm jelly. I'm jelly. Scott George, what's going on? How are you? Ronnie Bird, what's going on? I tell you what, man. This wind is crazy. <laughs> like, we're having to hold on to the equipment. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh my God. Everything goes flying away. All right. I do believe she's almost done getting everything together, so we should be able to start the race pretty soon. You know, they said that the the wind was going to wow. get. They said the wind was going to get better at uh, eight. I know, but she <laughs> said five. <laughs> I, I feel it. Somebody catch that kid. <laughs> What's going on, Matthew Housen? Man. I feel like we're in the movie The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. And I'm that witch. <laughs> well, you said it, not me. <laughs> you know, one thing I can say, honestly, <laughs> about this area. Yes. Is the builders here are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> for these things to stay up <laughs> all the time. I mean, <laughs> Jesus. If it was like this for a month at our house, mine would probably be on a slab. As I told you about the way Georgia builds their houses, they build them on slabs so we can rebuild them. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Housen says, Wasabi, everyone. Holy cow on the wind. Yes. <laughs> this wind is bad. But Barry said it's okay if the camera flips over and breaks. <laughs> no, I, can get I did two. not. <laughs> I can get two. Hey, Matthew Housen, now that you're on here, when's that new MBM podcast coming out? About the same time you're going to be over me them two cameras. <laughs> Bo Dabber, what's going on? Bill Story, how are you? I'm telling you, I, I enjoy listening to those podcasts. Um, it gives us something to listen to, especially on our road trips. Yeah, while we're driving, yeah. Yes. All right, we got a lot of races coming up, don't we? Quite a few. This weekend, ha, 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 LOL. Okay, so so, so we'll have something to listen to on the way home then. <laughs> Yay! Let's see. I can't tell what that's. Uh... And we do ask y'all to please give us feedback on these live streams. Um, positive feedback or critical if it's critical please be nice about it but um <laughs> and we might not talk to you for about a month but you know what i'm saying we understand <laughs> but um <laughs> you know when we when we're riding back and yes you know let, let's be honest when we ride back we do you know we do listen to the live feed see where we can improve just like you're you know the you the racers you know you you go back and you see what kind of information you gather from the race that you've been to we get information about our live stream what we can do to improve and you know where we need to better and um our videos and our live streams and i tell you there's been a couple of times like on our live streams where like it sounded robotic or something of that nature you know what i'm talking about <laughs> like last weekend and um nobody said anything so you know we're like thinking our live stream went really really good and then we go and listen to it and then one of our videos actually sounds like it's robotic so let us know yeah there ain't nothing like driving 20 hours and then 20 hours home to find out <laughs> it sucked <laughs> matthew Housen says thanks i appreciate it can't wait for super chips absolutely right. we, we are super excited right. we were actually talking to jeremy mills about super chips earlier today Bill's story looking good. Thank you. Austin Johnson, what's up? Jesse Ferrardo. 
What's going on, Bo Dabber? I'm getting ready to race at Fort Walton Beach RC. Awesome. Am I missing any comments on YouTube? Uh, let me see. Bahamas Sky, what's going on? Oof, that looks wickedly windy. Yes, <laughs> BMF Customs RC, what's going on, Tim Cedarberg? Um, Cassie Bernard says I'm on my way. Coach D R C in the house. Um, good, good evening, Monty Manor, Eastern Oklahoma Spring Sweet. That was funny earlier. Jerry Mills like, oh, so Web R C is going to be plastering it. <laughs> he thought that we like we were going to do it from the house. Uh, yeah, like yeah. you know, and uh, nah, we can't. We can't. Impulse. We try. Austin Johnson says, how's the weather? <laughs> well. Well, if you can see the tree on the screen, <laughs> that's about how we look, too. We got a bad lean to us at the moment. <laughs> I think everybody has a bad lean. Uh, oh. What's going on, Nathan? Hey, certain times in life that I'm glad I'm kind of fat. This is one of them times. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've got ourselves locked down. Yeah. Everybody going to be blown away except for me and my chair. Austin Johnson. <laughs> uh, yeah, everybody can see that tree link. <laughs> yeah, it was. That thing is just like. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it earlier asking about the um, tree, about can we lower the tree? <laughs> no. Give it time. <laughs> it may be lowered by the end. Uh, bless, bless this wind, man. Bless, bless the us. wind. I feel like bless everybody that's in the wind. <laughs> We had a bad accident earlier because somebody was in the bathroom in the, in the porta potty. And it, <laughs> He's and it so full of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Were you starting to look? Barry looking at me like, "Oh my God, what happened?" I was, <laughs> I'm like, "I didn't see that." <laughs> uh, that tree is swinging around, boss. <laughs> no joke. We do get blown around as a big and Sparky well, Chandler. What's going on? <laughs> one of the, gonna run the fastest ET. <laughs> one of the biggest things here is if if something happens and it starts to pick you up. <laughs> and you need something to grab to uh, make sure you to? stay planted. Don't grab the tree. <laughs> going. <laughs> that thing gonna run. <laughs> Galindo Rubin, what's going on? Sweet Jesus. Hell yeah, something to watch tonight while working on this shop. Thanks again. Sounds windy. <laughs> it's a little windy. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> Somebody said TMI, <laughs> David Greer. Uh, oh, my goodness. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what did she say about the, the race? race or what we doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so we came, we saw, we went live. That's got to be some strong wind to move my fat ass. <laughs> What's uh, going on? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh -oh. <laughs> All right, I'm basically going to find out, see what time we're starting. I mean, there's only 20 of y'all, so. <laughs> right. Um, I know a couple have made a hit, and they didn't make, and I don't know names, so. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Husted, how are you? Hey, where is Scott at? I don't know where Scott went. He's somewhere. Mm -hmm. Dude, he's smart, man, and he's he's awesome. Yeah. Man, I mean, for what he does and everything else, man. Like I said, I don't know if y'all heard me say this before, but y'all need to go <laughs> sign up. Sign up for RC Drag Race. Man, it's the, uh, it's the one place that we all need to get together. And you know, saying you can put your races on there, you can register, you can keep up with all the tracks of it. You know, and everything kind of goes together. And you know, all races that that everybody's allowed to come to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? they can look at it and see, you know. Papa says it's bad when you need a chin strap to keep your hat on. <laughs> hey, this is the only time Barry's never complained about having the headset on. <laughs> yeah. It's keeping my hat on. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, l l seriously, we'll get out of our chair, and as soon as we get out of our chair, it'll hit the table. Yeah. <laughs> Are they talking about the wind again? Hold on a minute, let's see. Got Dino getting in there. Diver ready? Yep. Watch the light. Okay. 
All right, and Brian Cash says, not with this big head, Paw Paw. <laughs> <laughs> Hey there, Scott. Yep. And getting lined Brett up Burling, right. how are you? So who's getting in there? Uh -oh. That is the one who sponsored the live stream. That's right. That would be Aaron Klein, Ghost RC in the house. And you know what he's running, right? Is he running Ghost? That's right. We good on the right, left. You like this? Left. People, they working hard to keep the damn leaves <laughs> off this track. I wish them good luck I on mean. that. Matthew House and everyone will be able to join Yeti and I live on our way to Oklahoma, planning to jump the team associated MTA over the trailer in every state on the way. Oh, that sounds awesome, Matthew. I can't wait. Drivers ready? Watch the light. Good pass right there. 163 in the left. Vaughn Wilkes, what's going on? Manny Santana, how are you? Mark Hello. Smith, how are you? Oh, come on, don't do that. I'll do that. I can't get that. Come back. Uh, you want to get my slip? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Wind looks like it'll <laughs> blow the cars Gotta down the track. The well, bad, bad thing about it is side. side. It's the side. It's sideways, ain't it, Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If y'all hear the wind again, we apologize. There ain't nothing we can do. I think they get that, though. Right? <laughs> I mean, it's just, I mean yeah. wow. Hey, Scott, just gonna let you know it might get windy tonight. <laughs> they said it's windy around here sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> Scott says it's always windy. Y'all's builders things. are better than our builders. You know that, right? We just on it where we're from. We just build on fl uh, flat slabs because when big wind light is comes, it just blows them down. And we rebuild. <laughs> Our, <laughs> hey, our houses don't have basements. Like in Georgia, we, we don't have basements. Really? <laughs> Watch the light. Uh oh. Whoa. Let's back that up. That didn't sound good. Junior Ramirez, what's going on? Dominique Papa, how are you? <laughs> And don't forget to sign up uh, for what? RCDragRaces.com. <laughs> hey, Scott, we, we've we mentioned RCDragRaces.com a little bit. 194. <laughs> we've been at 74. Put more power in that. Yeah. Was that your first yeah. hit? Yeah, that was my first one. What's your name, sir? Robert. <laughs> Last name, Dror, S-C-H-R-O-E-R. Gotcha, you're on. <laughs> Right, you got one more time, Scott, earlier, uh, somebody said, can we lower the tree, right? And we, when it picked up, and it was blowing zone, light up, yeah. I said, you might get it in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Downey, how are you? Do I know? Him, really? Do what? Fast score out here. Sean Miller? And he's running, a, it's a, a plan B, right? I do believe so. Drivers hmm. ready? Watch the light. Wow. Oh, Cody Jarvis says no R1. Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay. Brian, on your ass racing. Oh, yeah, what's going on? Apologize, I'm holding down the fort over here. All right. This is one of them lobs that if it turns out good, we worked hard to make this happen. 
I had to call the insurance company to make sure they would understand that I was fixing to screw up another camera. <laughs> what's going on, D Gulp? Mike, Mike, what's up? You remember what you told me not to do last time? I did again. Them weights are made for that, though, perfectly. Brian Downey says, go 217. Like I was saying earlier, the Dastardly Syndicate t-shirts, I love them. That's awesome. Because now every time I see that cartoon character, mm -hmm. it reminds me back of my youthful days when I used to watch. I don't know if y'all remember the USA Cartoon Express, but it's pretty cool. Check your messages. Okay. Your live sponsor runs Plan B. <laughs> Thank you. Who was that? Um, Cassie Bernard says R1 and uh, Switch on okay. Thank you. So we got a little bit of everything at this race. Yep. Actually, you know what I mean? Uh, Steve <laughs> James says okay. sticky goo goo. <laughs> You know, this is one of them tracks because of how windy it is. It probably needs it for real. Yeah. Uh oh, Jordan. Uh, Go back and get it. I gotta get my lights to work, anyways. Track down. Jordan, track down. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And Cassie, I appreciate that too. Hold on just a second. <laughs> She looks stressed, don't she? Caitlin, just breathe. Like I said, it's one of them things when you do something like this is you just go with the flow and what happens, happens. There you go. I learned that from Scott. Did you? <laughs> Scott shaking his head. No. What's going on, Bobby Smith? Normally people say, you know, it could be worse. I'm, I always say when I'm doing whatever's happening, it's going to be worse. <laughs> Whatever has not happened before will happen today. It's going to be the first time for everything. Yep. But that's what makes you better, though, in things. Yep. If you don't fail at nothing, you're never going to get better. Amen on that one. And this live feed, we do apologize if, if we don't talk very much, but we're holding down the fork. <laughs> so... It's like Scott, it ain't like this in Texas, is it? Is it windy like this it, all the time in Texas too? This windy in Texas? Holy cow. Shooting it straight up. Great. See, Georgia, we only get this one when it's tornado. That's why we got gnats. <laughs> yeah. A gnat ain't got a chance here. <laughs> Brian Downey, it's very windy in Illinois. Don't don't feel bad. Driver ready? Watch the light. Ooh, wow. That's gonna be a good replay. Uh, Maybe. I ran 154, Did I get it? but I ran 183 in the right lane also. <laughs> nah, it didn't read right. You got it. Yep. Because he hit. That means that we got some footage for the... Crash cam. The BBM performance crash cam. There you go. <laughs> Hold on just a second. We got track down. Okay. Track down. Tell Gary going to get him. Um, Dominique says it's uh, Wendy and Ocala when we when we race at Garlitz and at the RCDRL. That's in Texas? That's the one in Texas? No, that's in Florida, baby. Oh, oh in the Florida track? Yeah. We must be lucky when we go places, you know that? Because uh, the only one that I can honestly remember that was like, oh my God, was uh, that one year at SoFlo. It was windy yeah. that year, but then uh, Redemption. 
Oh my God, that year, that was insane. I mean, well, not last year, the year, the no, first, one of the first year, you know what I mean? Um, Bo Dever says the ramp works well. Really? Yes, it does. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. That's that one that folded up. It was, dang, go. What? Wow. That railing just pulled out right there. Uh -huh. It was tied to a tent and it pulled it all down. Wow, really? Mm hmm. What's going on, Kid and Dabney in the house? How are you all? All right, we got Russell with the second hit. All right, that's Russell. Isn't that right? Yeah. Did I get it right? Take I got it, it right. <laughs> Go me. Dabney, what's up, everyone? What's up? Have it ready? Watch the light. Damn. Good pass. 167 at 91 mile an hour. 60. I thought I had 50. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna beep that, out every that's word. Fast as, every time you gotta listen for it. Am I a mind reader? <laughs> Do I know what they're gonna say every time? I can estimate, but you know. It is. The wind is slowly dying down. Who, who said that? Who said that one? <laughs> Alright. You can try the right lane? Yeah. Mr. John, right? Let me know what it uh, takes to replace that symptom. Okay. okay. After this. Brian Downey says, go, Justin. Is it all out all tonight? Yeah. And tomorrow she's running, what, three different brackets? You're racing tomorrow, ain't you? You know she's being really quiet. Just checking that head. Yes or no? What's Sir? going on, Robert Hurst in the house? Justin. How are you, Robert Hurst? All right, Justin. Are we ready? Yep. Watch the light. One sixty-five. What's going on, Mike Vandewater? How are you? Brian Downey, you didn't go. He, I think he's going back to fix it and coming on back. No, I spun real what? bad. Yep. The, uh, um, the guy that's... That should get you in yeah. the yeah. tire. Yeah. You're good. Yep. Ready? I'm ready.
like I said, I hope the views are okay with everybody. I'm kind of doing the best I can with the hurricane. Good pass. Yeah, good 187. Oh, man, the wind got you. Oh, bad at the end. 27. 27 mile an hour. Uh, yep. Yep, same exact. Yes, sir. True sparks, what's going on? I hope y'all are having a good right, weekend. You gonna go straight this time? I'm gonna try. All right. <laughs> What'd you say? Are you gonna go straight this time? <laughs> Not today. Brian Downey, way to go, John Hudkins. Diver ready? Yep. Watch the light. A better day. Full day of racing tomorrow. Steve Jane, she's so sweet. Thanks. Excited? <laughs> <laughs> All right, once again. Huge shout out to the sponsors of the live stream and the replay of today's race. No, That's going to be Ghost RC. I don't know. We're going to find and out. And 217 Photography. We're going to try from the tape this time and see what she launches. We got Mike Concho coming up. RC, get them. Where are you at? We are actually in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're at the O'Brien Park, and this is T Town's first inaugural RC Bash. Okay. It's actually a benefit it. race for Ready? Shaw. And you, in this, uh, this angle of the camera, you can see Shaw sitting beside her right there. What's going on, Leo Gitz? How are you? Diver ready? Yep. Watch the light. Oh. Uh, Even the birds are flying away now. Camera's shaking, baby. It's shaking. Yeah. I'm watching it. <laughs> What's going on, Nick Snyder? and say, go put straps on it. Strap it down to something. Ain't nothing else strap it to. I don't think it's going to go anywhere, though. Leo says, good, how are you? We are doing good. It is a little windy out here. And currently, it's like 22 mile per hour winds. If with, you're wondering why we don't 40 have camera, mile per hour Why we don't have cameras on us is we're standing up right now, and me and Valerie both look like that tree right now. We're, we got to lean to <laughs> We got to lean. <laughs> What's up, Drew Sparks, William Centeno, what's going on? Nick Snyder, what's up, Webbs, what's up? My goodness. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I'm going to show the tents over here. Okay. We only currently have two tents standing that are left. And they were all down through there, wasn't they? Yeah, they were. I don't know who. And they put us over here by ourselves. Apparently they did we, not. Apparently we, we stink. See us we, over here. We, hey, volu we volunteered <laughs> ourselves over here. I guess some of them didn't. Yeah, they were all down 
Got Dino coming up. Dino, yep. this is his second, right? Look at them bright yep. shoes right there. This is your second. Yeah. Now, what jassy does he run? Are you asking me? I thought you knew. I, I don't know everything. Okay, everybody online. Okay. <laughs> okay, we ready? Yep. Watch the light. Good run. Hit the wall right at the end. But. Two, uh, I'm sorry, 180, Dino. That wind is insane, ain't it? GFRP. Thank y'all. Jo Jonathan Thompson says um, PTZ getting a workout. <laughs> yeah. Now he's doing pretty good considering it's scared as hell up there. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne says GFRP. Mike Vanderwater. Hello. Hello. Thank you. My goodness. You know how we're always worried, you know, when we go to a race if we're going to be sunburnt? I think we were going to be, like, wind chapped. Yeah, definitely. Joe Owl says, Dino, GFRP. Doesn't nah, look like there, there's a lot of prep laid down. Nah, there's, no, there's, you know, I think, I mean, there's only, like, what, 25 or so, right? Yeah. Um, Outlaw or something like that, right? And then I know tomorrow, I think, some, there's some more, some more be coming. coming. Yeah, today is Friday, but yeah. you know. Um, Mike Vanderwater, we are in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the O'Brien Park um, for their T Town's first inaugural RC Bash. This year we get to we get to come to here twice, don't we? Twice. I was just fixing we'll be, to say it. We'll be here for this one and we'll be it's here not. for the big one one. For Super Chip. <laughs> super Chip. <laughs> You did it, did he too? I did. Super chip. Chip. Yeah. There's only one winner. My bad. You just think about them guys on motorcycles. I do. Chips. Chips. <laughs> my last chance. I'll turn down a little bit. You now you're really All telling right. my age. You're going to send it. Wow. Come on, Darren. What's wrong? I forgot to turn the, bring the camera back. Oh. What's going on, Danny Cooper in the house? You're good right there. You're good. She reminds me of you talking to Paul. Why? Y'all, Paul, yeah. <laughs> Paul come you down. call you about some problem <laughs> or something, and he's, you're always like, yeah, but the day will be better tomorrow. And Tomorrow's all, I mean, okay. That wasn't true for me this week. What's going on, Christopher Scribner? No, but the way you got to look at it yeah, is. It, it could good. be worse. It could be worse. And tomorrow morning when you um, wake up, it is fresh with no mistakes place, in it. Seville so Bravo, uh, what's going on? I'm glad we made it, and anyway. it was not a bad ride at all. No, it wasn't. You know, and that's like uh, when we drove to uh, Vegas the last time we drove to Vegas or um, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we drove well, 30 something hours or something like that. It was a good drive. I mean, yeah. it wasn't bad, was no. it? I, I enjoyed it. Mike Vanderwater Webs, what's up? Jesse Kinder in the house, what's going on? We got Jordan Fair at the line. Yeah. It just adds texture. <laughs> we call it the Oklahoma texture. Positivity. There you oh, go. Oh yeah. Ever ready? Watch the light. Mm. Oh. 
comes on automatically. It's part of the computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Caitlin even takes time to answer some questions. Yep, she does. All right, I think that um, is qualifying, if I believe correctly. I have no idea. Okay. Is it on the thing? That ain't on there, is it? I don't think so. You're supposed to know all these things. Am I supposed to know everything? Yes. Okay. Hey, Caitlin, can they follow along on RC drag racing? Yeah, I will. I'm gonna get the uh, the pairing set up, and it'll be a class in there. Okay. Um, website. If you know anyone looking for a drag car ready to run, send send to me, please. Absolutely. And tell the kids it's the same little troll turns the light on <laughs> the refrigerator. <laughs> 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 That's funny right there. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, while we're waiting to see what's going on, I think there ain't no point in listening yeah. to the... Conversation there? Well, not only the conversation, but the generators, generators and all running. that stuff, you know. So, I know how you like to talk. Jess Kinder, who is the race director um, for Two Towns First Inaugural RC Bash, the what? This, uh, it was one I know, and I mean, I, you know, shut Rachel. up. Oh, no, no, I think Rachel. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, it's going to be Caitlin Hills. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Right now, it has calmed down a little bit. you going to jinx it. You shouldn't even <laughs> said that. <laughs> It has calmed down a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> it's nice now. Like I said about what we're doing this year. Hang on. <laughs> we're just getting started. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, if She said that um, the brackets will be listed at rcdragraces.com in just a little bit. She's getting it all situated right now. So, y'all give her just a few minutes. <clears throat> So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. And, my goodness, there it went. See? William, you're in Oklahoma and an F5 tornado is about to blow right through. <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> Terry Willis, what's going on? Well, you know, about the people that are here, they say this is This is, this is this the is norm. And I'm, I'm like, oh, my God. Dad got out of the car. She's all freaking out. <laughs> she want to go buy water. Water and toilet paper. <laughs> so if you're around here in Tulsa and there's no toilet paper, you know, Valerie, blame Valerie. Valerie done bought it up thinking <laughs> <laughs> we need to prepare. Give me that right there, please. <clears throat> but once again, I do apologize. I mean, we're from Georgia and we're just not used to this wind we have gnats so it's well and like i said and it's fun just hanging out today you know it's not really the race we're just playing around and seeing hanging everybody out. and hanging out and it's just fun you know we get to hang out with our friends and family online and here friends and family here and meet people new and put faces to, to names. names and it's just neat william says gotta get milk and bread <laughs> gotta get milk and bread <laughs> That's right, you got to buy that up too. <laughs> I'm just thinking, could you imagine going to the grocery store to buy up the toilet paper? Have it like, stop. They done it before. <laughs> but come on. <laughs> William says, because you know during the storms, everybody poops, poops a lot. <laughs> That's crazy. That's one thing you're worried about, you know. Then the world's coming. You just want to make sure your butt's clean. I mean. <laughs> Who does that? Uh, we all do. <laughs> That's in Whit Rock what's going on. The things we talk about. Like I said, it's just playing around. Day, yeah, so. it's hanging out. It's having a good time, man. Oh. 
217 photography. He, he's been taking some good pictures. I'm, 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 yep, I'm excited to yep. see what he all he turns out, don't you? Yep. Mike Bush saying that right lane looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be the BB and performance and parts lane right there? I tell you what, that mat looks real good. It yeah, stands it does. out, man. It's like. We got yeah. BBM. I need to get me one of them, mate. Hey, we got two of our back end sponsors for the lane sponsors BBM Performance and Parts and RC Speed Cigarettes. Yeah, because see, I want to get one made with our backing sponsors and stuff. <laughs> Walk says, is that tree safe? LOL. <laughs> it's got that lean like we do. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be able to see the pictures that he's been taking of us. We got a crazy lean in the wind. <laughs> Walt says wind is crazy. Absolutely. We, <laughs> yeah, you see them people in Vegas, how they're leaning and doing all that crazy. <laughs> That's what me and you look like right now. I got you. <laughs> never let go. <laughs> I'll never let go, chap. <laughs> we were talking about that last night. Uh, give me a diamond. All right, you got to go. Oh... It's got the Baltimore lane. <laughs> <laughs> They're picking up the leaves off the track. Maybe they got to. I, know, I understand I know. that, but it's like an impossible. But you got to try because, like I said, it gets into the prep, you know. If you were racing, you would do the same thing. No, what? you wouldn't. But, I mean, I would. <laughs> but <laughs> that would be like, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. Run it. <laughs> Sponsored by leaves <laughs> Walt said that tree had a couple shots of whiskey <laughs> I, I still say like they said earlier can you lower the tree we're talking about setting up the camera can you <laughs> give it time um what time does racing start tomorrow let me uh, check it out for you give me just that y'all have to excuse us we're just having a good time today um registration starts at 8 a.m testing and tuning is from 8 to 10 Driver's meeting is at 10.30, and racing starts at 11. Did she put the weather report on there, too? She I've seen it. Yeah. I don't know how current Look. it is. <laughs> <laughs> They're waving. <laughs> Hello, Are we right in the way? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all on there. Diddly. <laughs> I've been talking about y'all's t-shirt. I love y'all's t-shirt. Brandon had a made some. Because um, it brings me back to my old days. Did you hear what he said? You can't have one. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, you can wave at it all you want. It, make, it makes it more exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I'll, I'll go over there and turn it on my phone. So <laughs> Going, y'all, y'all do like y'all are leaning back <laughs> from the wind. <laughs> They've been asking if that tree's okay. <laughs> I told them that's how everybody's standing out here. They got to lean. Everybody's got to lean to it, don't they? <laughs> uh, William said, um, "I was about to ask, do they have somebody that's really tall? That tree is like six foot tall, looks like." <laughs> I wish I it. was there, but I don't have the time to take off of work. We understand that. Uh, Rachel Stroman, what's going on? How are you? All right, how you doing? All right, how you doing? About you. I'm Mr. Daniel. Nice to meet you. I'm Valerie. I'm a hugger. Uh, uh, good things about you, too. Oh, yeah. good to meet you, man. All, right. All good? All good. All okay. Good. All good. All <laughs> you good. never know. Ain't that right? Well, nice to meet you. Nice, okay. to, nice meet to meet you. Thank y'all for support. Oh, yeah, no, no problem. problem. Anytime. Hope tomorrow will be a better day tomorrow. It will. It will. Yeah. Come on, I'm praying for it. Yeah. I'm praying for it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to pray really hard that the wind dies God for tomorrow. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. been flying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet y'all. Nice, nice to meet you, too. too. Okay. All right. We should have hit up Red Bull for this one. 
<laughs> Nick yeah, Snyder says end. he's lying. <laughs> uh-huh. at, at the end. <laughs> he Got gives you wings. wings. Uh, he's lying. <laughs> I like that. Uh, all good. You never know. <laughs> as People, long as you ask. They come on with some crazy stuff sometimes. <laughs> Brian Downey, what's going on? <laughs> Robert Hurst sweeping. They trying to get them leaves out of that prep. <laughs> All right. Anyway, now it's time if you want to go grab me something to drink. Good God, grab me something to snake snack on. You <laughs> said you were reading that. One. <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> go grab you a snake. <laughs> snake. <laughs> anyway, go grab me something to drink. Grab me something to snack on. Go use the bathroom. Do whatever you gotta do, and then come on back. There's Earl. <laughs> Catfish. That's what's going on. Are you laughing at me? That was funny. Damn it, I did it again. Kyle Todd, how are you? Jesus. Steak. That sounds wonderful. That camera a little shaky. Which <laughs> <Please>. one? <laughs> the camera. The camera. Oh yeah. Sorry, right, I got an insurance when you said I could get two. I did not. <laughs> Sounds like someone has already gotten herself a drink and a snake. <laughs> the sad thing is, is no, I have not. Rachel and Leonard, how are you? Marcelo, how are you doing? Got Metro back on. Metro taking it back. Going to do a little bit more work. What's going on, Leo Gitz? Travis Bernard trying to get some of that leaves out of the prep. Y'all have to understand. It is. They understand. <laughs> do I they mean, understand? They, they understand. Do they, they understand? <laughs> it's freaking insane. What was that? What was that movie that time? Tornado Jamie or whatever Beasley, it's called. Where are you going? You know, twister that, yeah twister you know when they were going to that movie and they were watching they understood what you know the wind and everything watching this they understand they understand yeah <laughs> bless them Tom Rockwell, what's going on? How are you and Samantha doing? What? Oh, absolutely, Nick. That's awesome. What's up? I don't know if he wants that red. That's awesome. Dominique says, have a drink, have a drive. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not in that order. Oh, my God. I've never seen him smile that big. <laughs> That's awesome, Nick. Oh, man. Willie Nichols popped back on. What's going on, Willie? Christopher Scribner. She is getting the brackets ready, so y'all just give her a few minutes. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you do know that. I do know that, and uh -huh. she's gonna put in for rcdragraces.com. Yes, sir. She is. How you know that? You don't pay attention, do you? Apparently not. <laughs> Jamie Beasley, hey y'all, wind been blowing here all day, 15 to 25 mile per hour winds. Good lord. Ain't got nothing on us here. <laughs> Twenty. <laughs> 
Like the only time Georgia sees 40 mile per hour winds, that's a tornado. <laughs> Just saying. Not only tornado storms. In, Geor in Georgia? Yeah, we've had some. You don't remember the last time the fence got blown down? It wasn't a tornado. Felt like it. Well, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right. Ma'am? She got to leave in her mouth. <laughs> a bug just went in my mouth. <laughs> Golly. My Jesus. <laughs> we says, I don't pay you enough attention. Well, Shoot. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Do you have a live on YouTube? Yes, we do. It is on WebRC videos on YouTube as well. Gary Huntsman, what's going on? That's protein. Right? <laughs> that bug in the mouth. Your eyes. <laughs> oh my Jesus. At least she was right about the wind going down. Wow. Oh my God. I know I've made two, but you've only got one rope down for me. You're welcome, Rachel. Well, Eduardo, how are you? You all right? Yep. You know, y'all are in a twister country. <laughs> I'm finding that out. We made it. <clears throat> what? <laughs> what is Travis saying? Gary Huntsman, uh oh, what did he say? All right, well, let's see what we got going on. Uh, all right. Um, hmm. do you want to play a commercial right quick for me? No, it's kind of playing one, but go ahead. Okay, go ahead and play one. You can mute you and then. Right, we are back. Thank you. All right, Nick Snyder says I can see it now. That ten across the track is coming up and flying right at you guys. We're keeping an eye on it. Um, yeah, I will be running the other way. That thing turned that camera. You know that? Huh? It turned the camera. What did? I don't. <laughs> the wind. What do you, I finna say, what do you think? <laughs> Gary Huntsman. William Centeno, grow up, LOL. John Coffey, what's going on? Corey Byfield, how are you? Y'all, thank y'all for tuning in and watching. We do appreciate it very much. And like I said, today is just kind of hanging out, and um, they are doing the Fast 16, and they're getting ready to do that. Um, Dean Grizzoffi, uh, what's going on? I can't 
get over the wind, man. <laughs> that last time was insane, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh no, the trolls turning the camera too now. <laughs> well, it was. Oh, it's the oh, wind. Well, you know, I, <laughs> I hit the same button I've been hitting for the last, you know what I'm saying? And I'm looking at the right. Switched. <laughs> Dean says, hey, from Augusta, hello, Justin Garner, what's going on? My goodness. Let's look at the tree. <laughs> Are you getting a close up on the tree? There's no place like home. There's no place like home. <laughs> this is where you bring wow. an airplane, a little RC airplane, <laughs> and you just fly it straight and just let it sit there, stay still. Fly it, good luck. But you luck. don't remember how we used to do that with the gas planes when it was windy and just let them stay at one place? <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> that's like when we come back from california um they said we're gonna be hauling tail on the way back we got a hell of a uh wind dude we we made it in two hours faster <laughs> than we made it over there we're like holy crap i've been watching them go by they turn around and land over there willie nichols as strong as the wind is somebody going to run over 100 miles per hour the problem is it's gonna be sideways <laughs> They're talking about the wind, you know, that they run, they're going to go over 100 miles an hour, so it's pushing them sideways. It's pushing, yeah, pushing them hard. Especially as the gust hits them about mid-track, you know what I mean? It gets them at mid-track. Cassie Bernard turn, tuning in. What's going on, Cassidy? She says she's on her way, right? Yep. And it was associated. Yeah. It, it, it finally came down for a minute. <laughs> did, it, did it come down for just a brief moment? I, I can see it. All right. I'm just waiting to find out what we got going on. We live. We live. <laughs> it's Friday night live. What's going on, Chuck and Bree? How are you? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I got a little choked up. Sorry. It happens. Still driving halfway there. Cassie, how how far away do y'all live? And more importantly, be careful. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> be careful. If I was just wondering, what's going on, Jason Zarb? What? You keep saying it over and over like it's going to change. I know. I just, I know it's not going to change, but I mean, I'm just. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Two and a half hours. I must say, um, I've had a. I've actually had a blast today just hanging out, seeing everybody, and um, meeting up with people and talking to them and stuff. Yep. I enjoy the, the laid back day, you know, the testing, the tuning day, and, you know, just. Well, you know, that's kind of like the day worked out for us because we decided last night not to drive all the way. So yes. we had, what, three hours this morning to drive. So we got up, we didn't get up too early, drove here doing what we're doing now so there's no really stress to it and that's that's what makes these these smaller ones like this that fun. we come to fun yeah because we don't we're not just like oh my god you know if, if it's something don't work we're not gonna you know what I mean lose our mind you know what yeah. I mean so and what's crazy is usually when you don't have that fear is when everything goes right absolutely so uh, Jonathan Thompson when are the other classes running um, I think they're all going to run tomorrow. tomorrow. Tonight, yeah. they're going to be doing um, just outlaw, right? Yep. 
just making sure I'm staying up. I love the way you just come over here to my thing and change what I'm doing. and It's all good. Is it not? It is. What's going on, Patrick Alvarez? How are you? Let's see. You want to go do, I'm going to, you want to do a couple commercials and then uh, we can go back? Yeah. You can go find out exactly what's going on? Yep. And then uh, when we come back, we can let everybody know where we're standing and give them a chance to go get something to drink. Some snack on. Use the bathroom. There you go. And uh, we'll be, well, I'll tell you what, let's watch him run this car real quick. We've been sitting here this long. Yep. We got to watch him run. <laughs> <laughs> you so crazy. Patrick says, we are good. Awesome. Nope. Oh, look at that. There you go. That is Say it, Barry. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> What's going on, Lady Roy Butler? Wow. <laughs> We're going Drivers have, meeting in, in five, five minutes. minutes. All right. That sounds like a good plan, do Yep. All right. Well, let's go do a couple commercials. Y'all go get something to drink, and we'll be right back, okay? It's 22 miles per hour with gusts of 39. Now we're going to the commercial. Yep. <laughs> See ya. How about now? Oh, do we have sound now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, once again, what's going on? Pissed off and Spencer Rudd. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope y'all are having a good Easter weekend. Um, it looks like they are getting ready to do driver's meeting. I know she said driver's meeting in about five minutes. Everybody's kind of getting up to the track for the driver's meeting. So y'all just bear with us. Yep. Got to figure out what's going on with the sound on the... Uh videos i just might need to make a phone call so we can get an update <laughs> jeff smith how are you all right let's see what's going on over there it sounds windy <laughs> it's a little windy what's going on doug and what Oh, you did. I have no idea. 
somebody's got some. I'll go find some around here. Uh, Patrick, this race is in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the O'Brien Park. And this is T-Town's first inaugural RC bash. Because that does give them that opportunity. Because like you said, you guys got set up. Um, Doug and Wanda Rayner, how are you guys? And happy Easter. Happy Easter to everybody. And um, we are doing good. We had a good 15 hour drive and it was, it was nice. Sound is good. Thank you. Yeah, we are not exactly sure what happened with our commercial. Manuel, what's going on? How are you? Hey guys. All right, here we go. Driver's meeting. First of all, thank you for coming to T-Town. Support the shop. Um, groove's changing. So we listed this, this, this race as a tape and no tape. Um, at this time, do you want fresh tape? You guys want fresh tape since this shit's so bad that people want to tape? Do you even like it is? Yeah. Not, not, not the groove, but we're talking about the tape. We've got all the tape, the tape right now. No, I don't like it. Hey, take some uh, napa to clean that grass off the tape if you want to leave. That's what I was saying. Was yeah, just just take it, clean it off. I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. At least with that, right? I'm, I'm good with clean it. If I was going to do that, I'd love well, it. If I was going to do it, I'd just play it. Do 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 is there anyone running in the in the 16 using the tape? What did it say? Take the shit up. Yeah, I'm using the tape. It's a bulky stuff. It's got yeah. grass in the other one. Oh, that's that's a good one. Take it like it's one. Or whoever makes part of the tape. This guy makes it. Yeah, he just makes it. Yeah, he just makes it. Yeah, he just makes it. If they both don't remove the line, I'm using the tape. Yeah, that's the only option. Yeah. They don't 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 I don't, I don't know that anyone running the it's going to be I don't think it's going to be an issue. Is anyone in the street taking the tape? Anyone in the street taking the tape? No. Is anybody even running on the tape? Do you want fresh tape now? I'm following the way it is. All right. There you go. There's our answer. All right. We're good. All right. We're good. So can we just take it out? No, he's running it. Oh, he's running. Yeah. You've been running that side, huh? Yeah. Do you feel comfortable sitting in your car on that tape? I have been. Okay. I'm an outlaw. Nice. I'm an outlaw personally. I like it. Okay. okay. We're good. We're good. Uh, has everybody had their two passes? Hey. Okay. Brian still wants to make a pass. Okay. Right, that was driver's meeting. Okay. See how it is? Yeah, I see, see how the green. Yep, I that's see how, the green. That's how it's got to be. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for educating me, sir. 
All right, what's going on, Bill Story? Bones Austin, how are y'all? That was the driver's meeting, and now she's, um, I think a couple more people have two more passes that they need to make. Is that what they said? Yeah. And then once they have completed their two, two passes, and the drivers have decided to do a $20 buy-in for the Fast 16. What was, was that? that? Yep. A little big one. I was wondering if that was the wind or if it was you. What? Moving the camera. Yeah. All right. But once again, now it's time to go grab you something to drink, grab you something to snack on, go do whatever you got to do. Come on back in about five so minutes. They should be um, doing some more um, qualifying, I think it is, or, or the passes, the two passes that they're each doing, and then the Fast 16 will start. Yes, they got lights. Yes. <laughs> Caitlin over there focused off the table lol <laughs> now which table are you talking about Tim Taz Flores what's going on how are you was that you that was you that was the win no that was no win that was you all right. There ain't too much going on right now. Everybody's just kind of chilling, getting ready for racing. What you guys say, baby? Done. Brian Downey, we just got done eating. Was the steak good? Weren't y'all the ones eating the steak? Because that's when I said snake. <laughs> <It's just laughs> I was wondering why. <laughs> Yeah, I meant to go grab you something to drink, grab you a snack. <laughs> the snake. <laughs> Is this a tape race? They do have a lane that does have tape. But there's yes. not many people that's running it. No. I think there's only like one or two people that's actually running on the tape. Tape, yep. You know, it's one of them things now where we've done got to the level now with so much prep that you got to build multiple lanes. You know what I'm saying? Because if you just do one, it's going to build up. Yeah. Especially the bigger races, there's no doubt. What's going on, Brandon Campbell? I'm just going to go grab a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> you hear me? What? I'm just going to go grab a hoodie. You're getting cold? I'm getting a little chilly. Yes, ma'am. He was the one eating steak oh. when I said snake. <laughs> I. <clears throat> Remind me to do that um, tonight. Yep. I'm going to kind of clear the whole system. What's going on, Tony? Yo, and, yo. And reboot everything and see if I can fix that sound. I just don't know where it's at. All right. Uh-oh, here we go. Pissed off what it do with what what's going on? Y'all having a good Easter? Drivers ready? Yep. Watch the light. Ooh. I went farther than you did. <laughs> worst to worst. What's going on, y'all? Have fun this weekend. Good luck to everyone racing. You guys coming Saturday and Sunday next weekend in Smithfield or just Sunday. We are actually going to be there Saturday. Yeah, we're going to drive in Friday. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I get off work, we'll be driving in. So it'll be one of them late ones getting there. But we'll be there uh, Saturday morning, right? Yep. And then we'll be there Sunday, too. Yep. And then we'll drive back home. 
Kendrick Lucas says, see y'all next weekend. Awesome, can't wait. Yeah, next weekend is one of them times where when I drive back in on Sunday, most of the time I drive back in and go straight to work. I'll sleep, <laughs> I'll sleep on Tuesday. <laughs> you sleep Monday night. No, Monday night? Monday night. Yeah, because I'm coming in on Sunday. So, yeah, yeah. it'll be Monday when I'll be sleeping. Dang right. See y'all then. Safe travels. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. You hold it down, you may go get you a hoodie. Huh? You can talk to them while I go get a hoodie. Okay. And you, will you look for my glasses too? Glasses? Glasses. Yeah. I need to um, make sure the chair don't blow away. Okay. Okay. Got Jordan Farrow. Good pass. 75. Huh? Nope. I ain't touching that thing. You want to take it? All right. <clears throat> Once again, we are in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We are at the O'Brien Park. And this is T-Town's first inaugural RC Bash. And once again, a huge shout out to our live stream sponsor. That's going to be Ghost RC. And 217 Photography will be our replay sponsor. You know this program. Yes, sir. And once again, you will be able to follow along in rcdryraces.com for, um, I do believe, for the Fast 16 and for the racing tomorrow. And if y'all are not already registered for RC Dry Races, y'all need to get registered on there. It doesn't take but maybe two minutes. And it is, it's awesome. It's an awesome setup. And it brings all the racers together and it allows everybody to know where races are for your local tracks and where the bigger races are at. I tell you what, I cannot wait to see um, how this race turns out because it is a benefit race for um, Shaw, so I, I can't wait to see how that turns out. Tony, All hey right. guys. Let's see, give me a sec. I will, I will do that, Tony. What's going on, Eric Anderson and Victor Roman? Tony, yo, yo, yo. What's up, Tony? He's so good to me. He brought me a hoodie. Thank you. Did you find my glasses too? Thank you. That'll, they'll work. They will work. All right, y'all give me a second. I gotta put my hoodie on. I'm getting a little chilly. And that's the only one we had.
we'll be having to make a purchase at Bavo Hobbies. Hey, they got WebRC stuff. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. What's going on, Glover, Nelly, Gary? How are you? <laughs> Victor, what's up? WebRC's got to buy a WebRC hoodie from. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. All right. Woo, that feels much better. Thank you, baby. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> My God. Um, At least it's slowing down. <laughs> Not. Can everybody see that tree? <laughs> it's just like it's getting lower. <laughs> it's getting lower. <laughs> I, didn't, I just can't get over it. What? The wind, my God. It's crazy. Are you, are you being sneaky and doing it that way? The way I can do it. <laughs> Stay in your line. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Once again, thank you all again for tuning in and watching. We do appreciate it. Like I said, today is just kind of a laid back day. Uh, we're just hanging out, having a good time today. Uh, let me mute that right quick. There you go. All right. And we do have Scott Davis on, on site for rcdragraces.com. Are you getting a little chilly? No. You're killing me, Smalls. How am I killing you? I just asked you a question. You just saying no because <laughs> I said, should we bring Honey's name? Okay. <laughs> you can't make me. <laughs> Brian Downey, freezing. <laughs> he probably is secretly freezing over there. But he's going to do the manly thing and say, nope, I, I'm, it's hot. I'm burning up. <laughs> Just because. <laughs> you ain't got nothing else to talk about. No. <laughs> That's the great thing about, about tonight is it's just hanging out and we can talk smack. And Have you been looking at um, seeing about RC? Dragraces.com. Drag so I, I have been pushing the RC Drag Races. I know that, but have you looked at it so that you can... Well, no, it's not It's not completely signed up yet, baby. She's working on it, though. She, she is working on it. Would you like my phone so you could do that? <laughs> Since we don't have a computer. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. They need to be able to see that tree. It's just. <laughs> Are you having a good time? I am. I I'm just tell. laughing at that tree. Because it's how I feel right now. It's just like leaning. We were sitting outside and Barb was like, I'm done. I stopped eating and she just got up and went in the house. <laughs> Nick Snyder is marked safe from tornado in Tulsa. <laughs> it is it's windy. Get out of it. But it's nice. Ernesto, what's going on? It is, I mean, the temperature wise is nice. Like, the temperature is really nice, but like the wind is. We're just not used to it. Yeah. 
But to hang out with the people that we get to hang out with. It's worth is it. it worth it? Yes. What's going on, JFab Garcia in the house? How are you? I like that Nick Schneider is more safe from tornado in Tulsa. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And the wife got up and said, <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. JFab, yo, what's going on? And what she said, what earlier it was five minutes, so it should be getting close, right? Yeah, it should be getting close. But I see her over there focused, so give her a little bit. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait till you come to Illinois. Oh, boy. Um, where is this race at, JFab? JFab, we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And this is T Town's first inaugural RC Bash. And it, it is a benefit race. And they're actually. And the main race will start tomorrow. Today is pretty much um, testing and tuning, and they are doing a quick 16. A quick 16 is posted. All right, let's get my angle to the tree. You ready? Yep. <laughs> it's holding on. Let's see. Open bracket. There it is, quick 16. We've got Aaron Klein, Boogie Rankin, Brandon Blackburn, John Smith, and Dino Tapia, Doug Needham, Jim Dudley, John Hetkins, Jordan Billy Bob Farrow, <laughs> <laughs> um, Justin West, Leonard, uh, Leonard, I'm not going to even try the last name, Mitro Peterson, Robert, Asleep at the Wheel, <laughs> Schroer, Russ Emisote, Russell Emiso, Sean Miller, and Travis Bernard. JFab, oh yeah, sorry I was going to come, but I'll be in Hawaii next week for their race. Yeah, we understand that. That's a trip yeah, right there. That's a trip. Nathan Jacobs and Joshua Shepard, what's going on? Wow. <laughs> She's got lean. <laughs> <laughs> Insane, eh? Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. Okay. And once again, you you should be able to follow along at rcdryraces.com. Um, if you scroll down, the quick six team will be listed there. Oh, you blocked me. Joshua <laughs> Shepard, Lee Helms, what? Try to move over a little bit. I can see. Oh. <laughs> You really want me to? No. I was like, wow, okay. What would like you do, zoom in yeah. all the way? It, <laughs> it's like a huddle. <laughs> They're all like, I'll keep you warm, girl. <laughs> They're blocking the wind for her. Oh, Lordy. Like we said earlier, there was tents all down through there. We've had, we got two that survived so far. <laughs> but now... They are really, they are really strapped to those posts, though. You see that? Yeah. Um, how has the tape laying been? I did my race last weekend, and I liked it a lot. Um, well, to be honest, I think there's only like two or three racers that are actually racing on it on the tape. Yeah. Well, the like I said, there's not that many. Uh, I think there's like twenty something. Um, mm -hmm right now you know and they've been testing and all but it's not like uh if you had a hundred you know like a you know you know so flow super chips something like that it you know it's going to be a big difference but um on this one it's not too bad papa says my money is on billy bob <laughs> what's going on caitlin is that it nope. hit, refresh. hit refresh okay did you call it the wrong one no, I just list out the names. Thank you. Yeah. There it is. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. All right. Looks like round one, we're going to have Jim Dudley versus Leonard. And I'm not even going to try that last name. No, I just call Mr. Leo. Okay. Um, Robert Asleep at the Wheel Schroer versus Travis Bernard. 
Dino Tapia versus Boogie Rankin. Doug Needham versus Brandon John Smith Blackburn. Justin West versus Jordan Billy Bob <laughs> Farrow. Russell em Emersote against John Hudkins. Russ Emersote against Mitro Peterson. Sean Miller against Aaron Klein. That's going to be some really good racing. BMF, just an hour from you, they just canceled a World of Outlaws event because of the wind. Full size wing sprint cars. Mm -hmm. Really? Wow. What's the name on YouTube? Um, on YouTube, it is going to be Web RC videos. Have y'all been practicing y'all's RC skills? Kendrick asked Richie. No. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't had a chance. I had, uh, like I said, we got a. Uh, yeah, but if you're looking for Web RC, it's Web RC videos um, on, YouTube. on YouTube. And uh, like I said, uh, it's always with two Bs. Yep. Talk mo, talk mo, bucks. What's going on? And they, ha like I said, they just updated um, RC dry races, so now the brackets are actually listed. Leonard, what's going on? Or should I say, Leo? What? Spying on everybody. Are you spying? You better quit spying on people. I found it. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, Leonard says, Mark Smith, I went on the tape twice. Okay. Now, um, if you went to WebRC on YouTube, um, yeah. please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, Leonard, what is your opinion on, on the tape since you are here and you're racing on it? Ivan, what's going on? Everybody is, seems like that says that they've ran it, like it. They like the tape, yeah. yeah. Now, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the outlaw RC racers, you know, they, they found their way through the, through the prep now. So, hey, web RC videos, happy to chat the live, awesome. Ivan says, hey, y'all, what's going on? I used it last week. It was nice, Willie Nichols says. Cool. A lot of people say they like the tape. You know, I wonder. What? How long are we going to be here? Think, uh, tomorrow, uh -huh. even if it's windy, Okay. what we'll do is we can put the, uh, um, one monitor Okay. down right here. Mm-hmm. That way I can at least bring that up and bring it up on screen That'd and get good. everything set up. I tried to do it on this, but I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> can't see it. Once again, let me call them out to you um, in the pairings. It's going to be Jim Dudley versus Leonard. Pair two is going to be Robert Schroer versus Travis Bernard. Dino Tapia versus Boogie Rankin. Doug Needham versus Brandon Blackburn. Justin West versus Jordan Farrow. Russell Emisote against John Hutkins. Russ Emisote against Mitro Peterson. And Sean Miller against Aaron Klein. Mm. <laughs> you got a damn hoodie on now. I know. I got to chill. I'm so sorry. I'll do it again. <laughs> No chills for you. All right. I tell you what, Mitro, he, he is one of the sweetest guys. I see When I see him over here in this area, like normally I see him in Topeka or um, in most of the redemption races. Speaking of redemption, if you're not already registered for redemption, y'all need to get signed up for redemption. Um, it is going to be an awesome race. And like I said, it's a... It's part of the Triple Crown, um, and the Triple Crown is something that we all kind of worked real hard to try to get a group together, to work together, to bring, you know, some three great races that we could be a part of, and if you can, be a part of it. And Absolutely. I think it'll be fun if you didn't get a chance to go to SoFlo, 
um, see what everybody was talking about, see how good it was. We had a good time. Everybody had their place, what they were doing. Um, so everything runs smooth. Uh, yep. Kyle Christie runs a great race. He will be the race director, and then you're going to have um, Red Bear will be bringing their tree. Yep, we'll be running the same tree. They'll yep. be doing tech, just like they did at SoFlo. So, so pretty much it's going to be very consistent for the whole entire three races. Yeah. Right. Yep. What's going on, Roger Gill in the house? How are you? Woo! Tony gonna be a party in Tucson. Yeah. Now that's another race we gotta talk about too. Tony, um, Tucson, Arizona, y'all. That's gonna be the final race of the Triple Crown. That's gonna be the Desert Classic. That is going to be an event on its own right there. I mean, it's going to be at the dragway, and it's going to have a bunch of stuff going on. And then we're also going to have a, a big old bonfire pit, whatever you want to call it. And we're all going to be camping out, having a good time, hanging out. It's going to be a big old family affair. I'm excited for it. Yeah, me too. I mean, nothing but a good time, is it? Yep. What's going on, John J. Dell? How are you? Marquise Boston, how are you? All right. Uh oh. What? I haven't been in this thing so long that I can't even remember. I uh, did. And again, the pairings is going to be Jim Dudley versus Leonard, Robert versus Travis, Dino versus Boogie, Doug versus Brandon, Justin versus Jordan, Russell versus John, Russ versus Mitro, Sean versus Aaron Klein. What's going on, Christopher Joseph in the house? How are you? Leroy, has it started? The, um, the Quick 16 has not started yet. Um, they are getting ready for that and the actual racing doesn't actually start until tomorrow today has been pretty much testing and tuning i'm kind of guesstimating on what these say huh what is that right there is that there huh you expect me to be able to read that? Yeah, but is that... Um, that's Safari. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, Robert Keller, what's going on, Mark Mayer? Uh, Mark Smith, Leonard, how did it work for you? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. How did you like the tape? Kaylin's got the trophies out. They're going to be giving out trophies tomorrow. That's going to be fun to watch. Leroy says tape's a great option. Leroy, have you run on the tape? And did you like it? Tatum, what's going on? Papa, can y'all park your car behind you to block some of the wind off of you? It's not big enough. Finally got some testing in today. Tatum, what's going on, everyone? What is going on? You must give it a try instead of crying over it first. <clears throat> oh, absolutely. Um, I'm just kind of, I'm looking for feedback on what people think of it. Uh. Papa, we haven't really asked if we could park because... <clears throat> Well, I don't see very many people parking on the grass over here, so. Mark Mayer says it works. Awesome. Okay. 
drop my first one four on it. Sweet. Roll out. I don't know why I did that one because it's right there. I don't know what you did, but anyway. I brought it in NDI, but oh. I already got it hooked up the other. What's going on, Donald Wise? How are you? What is she doing? She got the propane tank going somewhere. Generator. Okay. Kendrick Smith, what's going on? Which one was it? On what? Oh. Um. That one. Up. 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 Right there. Click. Scroll on down. On down. On down. Right there. That's it? Yep. Do you click on this or is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I won't let you. Okay. Caitlin Hills, what's going on? Five more minutes? Five more minutes? Okay. All right, everybody, y'all got five more minutes, and then racing starts. Kendrick Smith says, hello, guys and gals. Hello. How are you? All right. Let's go racing. Absolutely. Tom is also a lot less stressful in the drivetrain parts. Okay, here's another question. Um, with the tape, how much tape is needed to be put down? Because I know different different races are doing it differently. What? Keep hitting the wrong button. Sorry, y'all. Okay. What's going on, Exalted RC in the house? How are you all? You got it? Yep. Um, like top shaft axles, differentials. We use about three to four feet. So y'all y'all run it. Um, do y'all run it past the the light? Then I would assume. Um, chilling, been in and out tonight. Wish I was there. Well, you can always come tomorrow. They're, they're going to be racing tomorrow. <laughs> Ow, that was my ear. Sorry. Ow, that was my ear. Oh, please. Uh oh, what happened? Is yours change back? Uh, Mark Smith says I made a decent. Leonard says Mark Smith, I made a decent pass. Did it change back from what? Mine went to this. This, right? Did you have that? Oh, there we go. Since, since, she's, since she was started, it went to it okay. live. So that's going to live change now. Oh, really? Yeah. Some, sometimes it's quicker than I would see it on my screen. When she enters it, it's going to move the last pair above the, the line and move everybody else up. It'll stay right there on the screen. Oh, sweet. Okay, awesome. All right, so do what now? Where are you at? Okay, you got to refresh. Did you already refresh it? I guess. How do I refresh? Go up. So, probably if you just even circle like around and get above after she does the first one, because uh -huh. it'll move the last race right above the line with the lane names. Okay. And then the next race will be right below it. So, right here, it'll stay, it'll keep running? Okay. So, that's it right there on top, right? Yes. Um, Mark Smith exalted RC. She says she will resume racing in a few minutes. David Castro, howdy, buddy. 
Alrighty. If y'all hit refresh, I don't know uh, if y'all have to or not, but we did. Um, the quick 16, it should say live now. On dragraces.com. You know where y'all. RCDragRaces.com. Yeah, where y'all made y'all's accounts for all the races that's coming <laughs> on. Right? That's right. RCDragRaces.com. Check it out. And we're, we're down to about three minutes now, and then racing should start. Oh. What? Look at them playing over there. Patrick Fahey, how are you? <clears throat> and. What? Looks like Caitlin getting ready over there. Oh. Very cool. Cliff Temple, what's going on? David Castro, what's going on? Where are these little buggies? Hmm? I had a little bug fly on my glasses. Good, and you guys, we are doing good. Um, we are here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, at the O'Brien Park for the first inaugural RC Bash T-Town. And once again, this is a benefit race. And tonight, um, they've just been testing and tuning. And in just a little bit, they will do the quick 16. And uh, Scott Davis actually came over here and um, told us of some new updates that he's working with, working on with the rcdragraces.com. Y'all need y'all really need to check it out. Um, he's he's doing this all for y'all, so. And it just makes it a whole lot easier for everybody. And, you know, for um, race promoters, it makes it a lot easier for them for people to get registered in um, for their races. Um, and it makes it easier for the racers so they can find local, local races that are going on. So everybody just kind of needs to check it out. Rachel Stroman says, good luck, Leonard. All right. Looks like I'm fixing to turn the mic over there in just a sec. They're getting ready. Who's your first row on yours? Um, I've got Jim Dudley versus Leonard. Debbie Castro says, let's go NWA. Jim Dudley versus Leonard. Yep. Uh, make makes life so much easier, doesn't it? RCDragRaces.com is the bomb. <laughs> William says, let's go Team R1 and the Rockwell RC. And once again, if you're just tuning in, we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the O'Brien Park for the first inaugural, well, T-Town first inaugural RC bash. And we're going to have Jim Dudley versus Leonard, Robert versus Travis, Dina versus Boogie. Doug versus Brandon, Justin versus Jordan, Russell versus John, Russ versus Mitro, and Sean versus Aaron. And they did, they decided on a $20 buy-in. And from what I understand, it is winner takes all. What's going on, Jason Sullivan? How are you? Yeah. 
got Brand um, Mike Honto over there. And we got a race we're doing with them this year too. We do. We? That's going to be the Midwest Classic, and um, Cassidy Bernard is actually going to be the race director. We're just letting you know so that you can go ahead and get signed up for it on, on rcdragraces.com. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gentlemen, you ready? Mr. Jim in the left, Mr. Leo in the right. Quick 16, y'all. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Um, I believe they went to go reheat their tires right quick, so give them just a second. What's going on, Darius Hackney, Ramon, how are you? Mark Smith says, way to go, Leo. Cassidy Bernard says, super, super excited about it. Yes, Midwest class is going to be awesome. Hi, No, he 
made it. He, he made a pass. Okay. I was paying attention. That's yeah. why I was broke. Justin and Jordan. Did they pay over here? I won? Wow. Yeah, you didn't hit the ball. Yeah. Still stuck, though. All right, up next is going to be Justin versus Jordan, then Russell versus John, Russ versus Mitro, Sean versus Aaron Klein. All right, looks like they're getting ready to go. Marky Chandler, what's going on? Mark Smith says a win to win, Doug. Next is going to be Russell versus John. Then we're going to have Russ versus Mitro and Sean versus Aaron. Father, son. Oh, father, son. Oh, we got the right one with us. I call Russell. Hey, which yeah. one? You Russell or Russ? Russell. Russell. He's, yeah, he's right. Yeah. Thank you. 
I didn't think we were getting it. I'm already making excuses, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Hey, good luck, man. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Just to recap, <clears throat> Leonard won against, well, they just, oh well. All right, up next, we're going to have pairings. Or, where'd, it, where'd it go? Okay. We're going to have Dino versus Russ. I mean, I'm doing better than you. Yeah. Say it again. I'm doing better than you. What? Well, this this is saying Justin versus John. Justin versus John. Then Dino versus Russ. That's pair two. That's what we just, didn't they just run one? That was the end of round one. Oh, so I got pair two on there? Yeah. All right, so we're going to have Justin versus John, Dino versus Russ, Doug versus Leonard, Sean versus Travis. What's going on, Clinton Tarbox, Jeremy Carter, Omar, Vern Brown, how are y'all? Doug versus Leo, that should be a good one. All right. <clears throat> Once again, it's going to be Justin versus John, Dino versus Russ, Doug versus Leo, and Sean versus Travis. What's going on, James Garrett? And again, we are here at the T Town's first inaugural RC Bash. Kaylin Hales is your race director. And we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the O'Brien Park. Up, oh, wrong one. <laughs> there you go. It still says the the other one, don't it? Who's going for Um, you got yeah, you still got Dino. It's gonna be Justin versus John. Cassie says Travis versus Sean should be a good one. MPIH King, what's going on? Thank y'all for tuning in. We appreciate it. Once again, go grab you something to drink, grab you something to snack on, go to his bathroom, do whatever you got to do. Come on back. Um, how many racers entered? This is the, it was the quick 16. We are down to eight now. And um, tomorrow will be the actual race. <laughs> What's going on, Jason Beam? How are you? Man's best friend. You all right? Yep. Barbecue truck is packed up and getting ready to take off. I tell you what, that was some good barbecue. It was, wasn't it? It was. You got it. Hmm. You got it? I don't know, do I? I don't know. Mm. 
giving the racers time to <clears throat> charge batteries, prep their tires, get everything situated. What's going on, Bailey Beckner in the house? How are you? They haven't lined up in a minute, yes. <clears throat> There you go. <laughs> that um. Yes. Speaking of Tennessee, it was good watching them last yep. weekend. Wasn't it? they were flying? Yes, at the um, Armageddon. Yep, they, yeah, they were, were flying, which they won. You know what I'm saying? But the they were all they were all flying. NWO. I tell you, um, Shay's gonna be the one to watch for. He's yeah. uh, this year. He's. He, he, He's going to get one. I don't know which one he's going to get, but he's going to get one. <laughs> Every time I see him, man, he's getting faster and faster. James Garrett says, hey, y'all. Hey, what's going on? Jose Jennifer Matus is watching what's going on. And once again, I, I just want to say thank y'all for tuning in and watching. We do appreciate it. Like I said, today is kind of our laid back day. It's, you know, they've been testing and tuning most of today and they're doing the quick 16 and then tomorrow will be race day. I tell you, um, yeah, his time Bailey, is coming. Yeah. His time is coming for sure. Absolutely. I, I tell you though, is one thing <laughs> about Shay is it's kind of like, he's one of them ones that helps everybody else too. So not only does he get fast, the people around him get fast. So, you know what I'm saying? That's what you see is you see a lot of his teammates and people that are, you know what I'm saying, like that. They get, their team gets better and better. So it's it's just, it's revolving. You know yep. what I mean? So. Cassie says, Shay gonna win a big one this year. Ho um, Jose Jennifer Matus says, how's it going? It is going good. Um, once again, we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And we're at the T-Town First Inaugural RC Bash. It is a benefit race. Um, and Caitlin Hills is going to be your race director. And we're at the O'Brien Park. And we want to give a shout out to our live stream sponsor for this race, right? That's right. It's going to be Ghost RC. Y'all know him. That's Aaron Klein. Y'all know y'all need to get out there and get that Ghost RC. And our replay sponsor on this race? Is 217 Photography. He's actually been out here uh, doing a lot of photography. I can't wait to see the pictures. And then thanks to all the sponsors for this race. And then also our backing sponsors for the year. That's going to be, of course, Voodoo, Five Star, CJC, BBM Performance and Parts, RC, Speed Secret, Shark RC, Ron John's Raceway, Beast Mode, and Straight Line Spoiler. And uh, hopefully y'all will join us this year. You know what I'm saying? We got the Triple Crown that we're doing. We're a big part of that. Um, we got two more races to go. SoFlo was the first one. Redemption um, we got 4 Redemption 4.0. And then we're going to Arizona. For the Desert Classic. So y'all join us with Voodoo. And uh, big shout out to Voodoo for uh, helping us. And helping Absolutely. us get the trees and the people to the races that we need to this time so that we could have the same crew at every race. So I hope y'all come and enjoy the race and have a good time that's what it was all about what's going on benji griffin in the house ricky how are you and a big shout out to the lane sponsors bbm performance and parts that's mike bush the one and only mike bush and rc speed secret y'all know art I just want to say, make sure you support the ones that support this hobby. Y'all check out the ones that are sponsoring races, your local races, the bigger races, and give them the support that they deserve. Yep, and y'all don't forget about Super Chip. Jared Mills and Greg Bridgewater. Y'all know it. Y'all know the race know and everything, Chip. and we're looking forward to it. We can't wait for it this year. It's going to be a great race, so y'all come join us, and let's, let's get it on. Let's have some fun. Did Scott tell you about the cool feature about on RCDragRaces.com yes. about the time? No. No? What about the time? Scroll back to the top and hit refresh. It tells you how much starts in 7 minutes and 55 seconds. Oh, my and goodness. Down. So when it, break, when it breaks, so it tells you the yeah. what time it's coming back to race and yeah. everything? Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know about that till tonight until he showed me, so we're going to be going using that going forward. That's awesome. Sweet. 
But so that's what I was picking his head for earlier. Is, um, talking to him and, and what we're doing and everything else, it, it's going to make the live streams and time be better. Um, we've got a lot of things to work together to make it happen, but um, it's going to be a little bit of hard times here and there. But it's going to be awesome once we get done with it. It keeps people on the page, on watching it. Um, helps us know who's coming up and all that stuff. So I, I'm I'm looking Even forward to like it, man. Helps Scott on his side too. Yep. On the programming side. What's but, going on, Kenneth Turner? But it's just so much more in line and professional, and it keeps everybody going. And what I love about it is it keeps the records of everybody. So whatever race they go to, if there's their local races or whatever, we can see their stats, yep. and they can call out their sponsors. You know what I mean? So when they're lining up, I can look it up and be able to say, you know, his chassis sponsor. and You know what I mean? So, And that's what makes all this love, work great. Great job, that. man. Love that. Yep. You see how I'm doing it right now, Scott? Is uh, See, like right there, there's the names of the people that's be coming up at the times, and it just rolls. So thank you. <laughs> but like I said, if y'all haven't yet, y'all go sign up. Huge shout out to Scott Davis. RCDragRaces.com. RC yep. Because you set up your account, um, you can you make it, your, you put your car, everything that you're doing, it's kind of like your own little page. Yep. And then when you go to sign up for a race, any of the races that are on RC Drag Races, you can register through there. Well, that way, when the you get to the race, people, they already know you. They already know you're coming. They already know everything about you and everything's in there. And it just makes everything so much smoother. Yes. So. And if you want to see what we got going on this year, um, we have a list. Uh, <laughs> That's our schedule. Yeah. Like I said, we've knocked down two. Um, next weekend, we'll be down, knock down another one. And it goes down and on from there, right? Yep. Next weekend, we'll be at the kickoff for the 757. Oh, that didn't sound good. Is that ours? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, kickoff for the 757. Then we got Web Racing. Then Ron John's Raceway. There we go. And then we got the Power Jam, Super Chip, Rock and Fire, Indra, Redemption 4.0. Jamming in July with Doug Eakes, Midwest Classic, Southeast Super Nats, Two Wheel Drive Nationals 2024, Hillbilly Nationals, <clears throat> Bring the Heat, Pink Out 757, VXL Super Nats, The Clash, Desert Classic, Turkey Run, World's Finals, and Ron's Raceway St. Jude's Race. Yep. And like I said, the Clash is the seventh scale championship, uh, the the point system that we run with the Pro Outlaw still, right? That's right. Nick Snyder said, RC drag races, I'll be using it at my local club for our dry tire races. What's going on to Mon is watching what's going on to Mon. Then we got Redemption 4.0. Thanks to all the sponsors that kicked in and helped us with that. Um, it's going to be a good race. I'm looking forward to it. So. Y'all please try to start making plans to be there. Um, it's going to be at a different place. Um, thank you for being there. Des Moines, the, Iowa. Yeah, thank you for being there. Um, so it's going to be a good time, man. So y'all come out and check it out. Y'all know Kyle Christie. Kyle Christie is a great race director. He, he wants to be able to bring you a good race, and then he wants you to be able to actually, when you go to these races, and he, he knows it, and he plans on it. But he wants you to be able to experience what's going on in that city or that town and be able to enjoy it. Then we've got the Desert Classic. Once again, <clears throat> Kyle Christie's going to be your race director there. And that's going to be in Tucson, Arizona. A big thanks to Tony and Frank Greer and all them for getting this place. Set up and everything. Location, I mean, everything. So yeah, he, shout they out got them. the location. They found out everything. We're just bringing the, bring the race. The, yeah, we're bringing the trees, the, yep. all the stuff that we did. And it's going to be the last place for the last 
triple race crown, of the Triple right? Crown. So uh, it's going to be a celebration. That's going to be a celebration, an event you're not going to want to miss. Yeah, it's going to be a fast one. It's going to be a good one. And on that one, um, I think we're going to have some tricks up our sleeve with the live stream because working with the uh, the track, they have their own little setup too. So we're going to kind of combine them. It's going to be pretty badass, I think. So y'all come excited. join us. And of course, after this race, if there's any crashes or anything like that, <laughs> Monday or Tuesday, after mm -hmm. I get a little bit of rest, you will see the new BBM Performance and Parts Crash RC Cam. <laughs> All right, countdown is in one minute and 52 seconds. That's cool. I got to I love that, that. Bring that up and see, huh? Willie Johnson says, woohoo. <laughs> <clears throat> but I love that on, on the RC dry races where it counts down. So it lets you know. Well, that's, that's the thing that's that, awesome. you know, and uh, he'll <laughs> build it and do, you know what I mean? But like he is got to have people on there and they got to use it for him to make it worth his time to to do anything to it because i mean if there's not going to be everybody going to use it and do the things that they do i mean look what the the company that uses this other one is uh what is it preparing no the oh uh, um rcdrl yeah drag track yeah you know how good that works for them and everything else and <coughs> now drag what yes is it? that's it okay. drag track drag race something like that but these rcdrl but with this is something on the outside for all of us to kind of, you know, saying your local races to the big races, everybody goes into one and uh, it kind of draws us all together, man. So it's a good thing. And uh, the more people that get us into it, the more people that gets to doing it, the more features he will add to it yep. and it just get bigger and better. So uh, y'all please share that with everybody. Get them on there, man. Put your races on there. Put your, your cars your on there. Yeah. You know, say so let us know what everybody's running. So. What's going on? Tony Taunt in the house. Tom Pearson, how are y'all? Live action. That's right. Jay Winslet in the house. Bearded brush. <laughs> I'll still never forget that. Yeah. <clears throat> One of these days I'm gonna get on the live with him and me and him are gonna explain. <laughs> you know, he lived in the, he lives in the same area that we do and uh I didn't quite understand what he did, I guess, right? And uh, <laughs> there, so there I was a big I did, yeah, miscommunication. I, I never really called him out much because I didn't really understand what he was doing. I thought that the bearded brush was <laughs> like he sold things to enhance your beard, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, then to come to find out, man, he's a painter yep. and all that. It kind of blew me away. We got, well, we laughed a lot, and then it blew <laughs> me away. But, but he's a great painter, man, so y'all go check him out. And, and his daddy for his 3D printing. They oh, yeah. do good too. They do a good job. So y'all go join the page on Facebook. Hey, hey, he says. <laughs> Need some more for your beard. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> we were actually going to hit him up. Hey. <laughs> Jay, now you got to make some more for beards. <laughs> Give me some of them fancy clippers, you know. <laughs> Yeah. All right, round two should start in just a second. I've had a good time though today. I'm, you know, like I said, I'm glad we got here early and got everything set up. I'm glad we didn't put the tent up. That Amen. Amen on that. It was hard. now with it getting dark, you can actually see the components. Earlier, it was hard to even see the screen, and uh, like I said, I got the computer set up into this to make it work and so to work on the computer i'm working on a screen that is about two inches two yeah. inches by one inch and i have to see a screen to, to get everything in there so that but it's working so i ain't complaining there you go could be worse hold on one second caitlin Are you giving her the time? I know, I was just asking. <laughs> She's going to go in and tell him, you got to take that off. <laughs> Valerie don't need that. <laughs> Valerie don't need that time. Fix timer. that one antenna on that, will you? Oh, you mean from where the w wind blew it? Yeah. Okay. Whew. 
Got some things coming up. I'm hoping the lights come on. I am too. Those have already started coming on over there. Yeah, you never did get us a ring yet, have you? No. Mm. We're just going to just see what happens. Wing it. <laughs> Wing it, baby. I figured you'd look and see if there was like a I, something. I, I did look and I told you. I, I told I, you, I, yeah, whatever okay, you want to do. Well, you can you, you do whatever. Just don't put me in a bad situation. <laughs> <laughs> I can't promise. I, I know, but you you know, that's the difference in me and you. And it. That's why you're good for me because no matter how much money I would make, I would spend every penny of it because. Well, yes, you would. I am terrible at that. I will buy everything quick and you tell me no sometimes you have to balance things <laughs> what that just takes all the fun out of it sometimes richie if you had a million dollars in your pocket it'd be gone it would be gone i know that okay all right <clears throat> All right, we're getting ready, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now I got to book a room. I can't see I nothing. I can put a black bag on it. Perfect. Hey, I got socks. 
I got a black bag. I've got white socks. guys and girls they are <clears throat> should start back in nine minutes and 30 seconds and we're gonna have Dino versus Travis John versus Leonard and I'm almost done booking the room <laughs> <laughs> Richie, you getting it set up for the next round, huh? I'm trying. You know, that's one of the things I'm learning right now. All right, let's see here. Yeah? Yep, got chill, sorry. All right. Almost done, almost done. Yes, please. Y'all, we apologize. Um, we, we had not booked a hotel room yet, so we don't have a hotel room to go to yet. Travis don't. getting the dub, voodoo gang, awesome. <laughs> And let's see. How's the wind? It's still windy out, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a little cooler. Of course, Richie will deny it because, well, 
I didn't bring a hoodie. He didn't bring a hoodie. <laughs> she didn't pack one, woman. I asked him. Casino, where to stay? <laughs> no. I can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've got it. We, we do not stay casino. That would be asking for trouble. Do you hear me trouble? No, no, no. Not no. really. I mean, that's one of the things I miss about um, Vegas. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed that. That was like a vacation. Well, yes. I'll be right back. Okay. But I do want to say thank y'all for everyone for tuning in and watching today. We've had a blast today. We were down to the last four racers for tonight. And once again, it's going to be Dino versus Travis and John versus Leo. I tell you what, um, I've had a good time. What's with that bag on the light? Um, it's y'all. Y'all yeah. can't tell it because I got the camera where it's showing. You know, what I'm saying it, the camera ain't telling you how dark it is out here right now. And when the lights come on, that's the way they're dimming it. So yeah. once the lights come on, you'll see it going. That's what they did last time. Yeah. Hey, hey look, the cops are here for you. I, I see that. And we've got our room now. I had to fix the BBM performance and parts. Was your OCD kicking in on that? I just wanted to look straight. <laughs> Them two down there are very important to me. They're, well, they're very important know, to me. I know what you're saying, though. You know, okay. for WebRC, they've always been there for them. They've always had our back. And if you're looking to get into this, yep. BBM Performance and Parts .com. Go check him out, man. He's got all the racing gear. He's got all the great stuff. Um, I mean, most, well, he's got almost all the chassis, right? Yeah. Um, I think he's even getting uh, CJC in there. So um, he's got the Barons, RC Speed Secret. He's got the tires. Yeah, tires. Yep. If Mark, if he, um, if he don't have it, if Mike don't have it in there, you pretty much don't need it, right? <laughs> That's right. So. Sharp bodies are in there. Yeah. I mean, he's got all the bodies, right? That's right. So y'all go check it out, man. Uh, Cassidy finally made it. Did she? Yep, she's right over there. <laughs> that's what I like seeing. I like seeing the husbands, the wives, the kids. You know uh, what I'm saying? That's what drew us in. You yeah. Know? And like um, getting to see Jordan and Chloe and their family, it's pretty cool. Just to see them behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. I'm excited about that race, you know, something that they're going to be having. And Prickly Pants, what's up? You know, I'm excited about the race. I'm ready to, with Cassidy running it and all that. It's going to be a good race. It's the, what is it, the Mid Midwest Classic. Yeah, so like I said, y'all, if y'all are around or y'all can make it to that race, y'all try to make it. That's going to be a, it's turning out to be a pretty big race. From what I hear of all the people that said they're going and the people that's been talking about it and signing up, it's going to be a real good race. Yep. And Cassidy will be running that one. She'll yes. be the race director on that one. And I want to say thank, um, thanks to, um, my concho and them for reaching out to us. Yep. We're excited. Yeah, we got a busy year, but I'm I'm ready for it. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully everything stays together like it's supposed to be so we can make it all of them like we want to, but um looking forward to it, man. Got a little dirt oval in there. We got some drag racing, huh? We got a little bit of everything. And seventh scale, yep. street eliminator. We got a little bit of everything. See, our next race is with Tamon. Jeremiah Sweetwood, sick as a dog. LOL. That's not good. Let me ask you, are you coughing and sneezing <laughs> and stuffed up? You finna do a commercial? Because <laughs> let me tell you, 
Doug and Wanda Rainer, they they hooked me up. It's, I need to go check that battery. It's Hand me a battery. Vix, um, I forget exactly what it was, but it was a Vix pill. Oh my God, it worked wonders. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. That's what I've been sick with for the last almost week now. <laughs> Jay, sick or hungover? I was sick. Head feels like it's gonna pop. Yes! I, I feel you on that. It looked like you had a ghost sitting over here beside you. What? You over here talking and oh. rocking and the chair's over here rocking by itself over here. Me and Prickly Pants were just discussing the fact that we felt like our heads were going to pop. Be hungover in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the NyQuil. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel Stroman, good luck, Leo. We are down to one minute and 23 seconds. Uh-oh, she was saying something. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. So we got, what, four racers left? Yes. We've got Dino versus Travis. John versus Leonard. Just got back from the club. What's up? All right. Just got back from the club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Very cool. You can see it like yeah, all around his neck a little. Yeah, I like it. Hey, um, he was talking about, Jordan was talking about how him and Chloe and the family went to um, Disney World right after. Uh, Okay. Right after SoFlo. Uh huh. And they had a good trip and everything, and then <laughs> Jordan got sick. <laughs> oh. At least he didn't get sick at the park and everything. Yeah, that's true. Uh oh, hold on. Jordan and Leo, Leo right lane. Papa RC, what's up, JJ? D1 racing, let's go, Travis GFRP for the win. Brian Brown Officer, Brown let's go, Dino.
Do yeah. what? I don't think I need the finish line camera no more. I can't even see. <laughs> All right. The final pair is going to be Leo versus Travis. I don't have that um, same thing this one's got. Yeah. Did you see it a minute ago when yeah. I hit it? Nothing but darkness. <laughs> Um, Papa RC, what's up, Michael, Jesse Kinder, Holly Wynn. So we're down to the last one, right? That's right. Mark Smith, Jeremy Carter, what's going on? Nick Hill, Danny Christopher, what's I, going I'm on? I'm going to go ahead and go get that camera real quick. Okay. Is that okay? That's fine. <clears throat> and once again, thanks for tuning in and watching tonight and today. We've had a blast today. Like I said, it's been a laid back day. All right. Omar, tell Travis I told him I'm still waiting for him to stop smoking when he walks up. <clears throat> hey, well, he just walked back. <clears throat> I'll let him know. And tomorrow, once again, we will be live. Let's see exactly what time again. All right, tomorrow's schedule. Tomorrow is going to be registration at 8 a.m. Testing and tuning is 8 to 10. Driver's meeting is at 10.30. Racing starts at 11. And we usually like to cover the driver's meeting, so we should be live at 10.30. And once again, thanks to our backing sponsors, that's going to be... Voodoo, five stars, CJC, BBM Performance and Parts, RC Speed Secret, Shark RC, Ron John's Raceway, Beast Mode, and Straight Line Spoiler. And a huge shout out also to the live stream sponsors for um, this weekend's event. That's going to be Ghost RC and 217 Photography. What's going on, Michael Cordero? How are you? What's up, Cassidy? How are you? I finally made it. Thank you. Hey, I really like your shirt. Cause, oh, thanks. Cause oh, sent, hey, did he send you one too? He did. Yeah, he sent them, so I had to make sure I wore it. Representing. Yes. <laughs> kinda, like OG. Yes. I love her. He's, he, he's the man. Oh, um. Tell Travis. Omar. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Omar always gets on both of us about smoking. Does he really? Yes, every time. It's okay. Tell him I have a beaver mug with his name on it. You have a what? A beaver mug. Ask, you should ask Omar why he considers himself an angry beaver. Omar, why do you consider yourself an angry beaver? Will he actually respond to that? He might. I don't know. <laughs> What's going on, Tony? Yeah, we've had a laid back day. We've been talking just. I worked, got my hair done, came in here. What did you get done to your hair? I just. No more red. Really? Wow, it looks really good. Thanks. It's really close to my natural color, so. Better come on and sit with you. Come on, have a seat. We got one more race. I can do that. Hey, my husband's in it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Tony. Oh, Omar didn't comment. He, he just. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I have a little cup at my house that's a beaver just for him. I just need to either ship it to him or come up to Wichita and bring it to him. Now, you got to tell me the story about the beaver. I can't honestly remember <laughs> what the story was around the beaver. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Tell Cassidy, calm down. She's being too loud. We all know I'm loud. I haven't been able to talk all day. I was at work, and then I went and got my hair done, and then I drove. 
You've been busy. It's been a very busy day. I feel you. So tell me about the Midwest Classic. So I'm super excited. So Honcho, Brandon, and John have been working their butts off for the Midwest Classic. It's going to be July 19th and 20th. It's in Decanter, Illinois. Um, we're doing Outlaw and Dry Tire Outlaw. We actually switched it to where we're going to do two entries for Dry Tire Outlaw just for the people that do come that race Dry Tire Outlaw. They're going to have a little bit more to um, race. Mm -hmm. um, the facility is absolutely huge. Like, there's plenty of parking. We're going to have crazy amounts of shutdown. Um, there's AC bathrooms. There's actually an AC area inside that we're going to have access to. So if people get too hot Sweet. or the kids, we can put them in there so that they're not burning up in Illinois' uh, you know, hot summer. Right. Um, the guys have just been working their butts off getting ready for it. Like, I'm so excited to be a I'm part excited. of it. I'm excited. I'm, I'm so ready. excited. Um, <clears throat> what was the next question? Oh, is it going to be on rcdragracings.com? Yes. That is the only thing I use. Scott made an amazing program. Like, I use it locally in Springfield. We use it locally in Wichita. Uh, pretty much any race that I've ran in the past year, well, last six months, has been on it, and anything I do this year is gonna be on it. It's just super simple to use. It's user-friendly for the race director. It's user-friendly for the racer. Like, it's the best. It's the bomb. Yes. I like, loved it. Scott's messaged me a couple times about like, hey, what do you think of this idea? And I'm like, yep, yep, do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he's worked his butt off on that site and it's just done an amazing place. Awesome. So where are y'all racing next? So we were going to go to Hawaii next weekend, but we decided to save our money because we can go to three trips inside the United States mm -hmm. instead. Um, so our next race will be Wichita's, um, their local race. I believe it's April 13th. And then we have a little surprise we're going to do the following weekend. We're just going to pop up at a race. Really? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, you we're going to go see Shay and Bailey, but it's not in Tennessee. Really? So, yeah, that's the only hint we're going to put out there. <laughs> Very cool. So I'm excited about that. I told Travis we're going racing for our anniversary again this year. So I wanted just to go visit Shay and Bailey because I miss them. It's been so long. We haven't seen them since November. Really? Yeah. Dang. I know um, at the Georgia race, they were on fire. I mean, that NDO, NW. NWO, yes. I yeah. mean, they've been, Shay and Ronnie and Spencer and uh, Daniel, all of them have been putting in the workout in Tennessee. Like, Shay has a big one coming this year. Like, I'm saying it now, like, he's going to win a big one. He was on fire there. He's, <coughs> Shay's kicking butt. He's going to do big things this year, and I just can't wait to see it. Very cool. I can't either. Shay and uh, Bailey are like our uh, other, like, they're our RC wife and husband. Like, Shay, like, er, Shaylee, that's my uh, inside joke <laughs> that I call them, because I can't say Shay and Bailey at the same time, so they're Shaylee. Shaylee? Yeah. I like that. Oh, sh but that's my comment. <laughs> <laughs> and Nick Snyder says, Dry Tire Outlaw, let's go. We're actually going to use um, the Dry Tire Association's tech process at Midwest Classic, too. Um, I got Nick Snyder and a couple of his other guys that have made that tech process with the gauge uh -huh. and I had them come on with Mike and Honcho and Brandon and the guy that's going to be their tech guy that I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now but we actually got them to come on on a video call went through the entire process like it's a great great process for dry tire to make sure that people aren't putting sticky stuff on their tires um, what are they doing are they, um, they going to provide lights for us, maybe? <laughs> actually, I think that's Justin's truck. I think he's pulling it over to load up the stuff right over there. Well, dang, I was hoping they would provide some lights. Hey, I said I'd pull my car over. We can park it right there. I'll turn my lights on. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty dark. It gets dark quick in the Midwest. Whenever it starts to set, you go straight from, like, daylight to nothing. Okay, I have a question about the wind. It's a normal thing. It's a normal thing here. Yeah, so we race a lot up in Wichita. Um, a lot of people actually think, um, a lot of people actually think Travis and I are from Wichita, and we're not. We're from Springfield, Missouri. So we actually race up there a lot, and I actually ran 90% of their local races last year. So we race a lot in Wichita, and we race a lot in Springfield. 
But Wichita has a great track. They're actually going to do a race called Ace in the Hole this year. Yep. Um, I can't remember the exact dates off the top of my head. But they're going to do that. I'm the race director for that, too. And then also, I got asked by Great Lakes Dragway to throw an additional race that's not Scotty Ernest's um, straight lines. Uh -huh. We're actually going to throw Getting It in September on the 13th and the 14th. And I'm super excited about that. Wow, that's yeah, very cool. So, um, there's going to be a race flyer out here this week for it. We're actually going to do a bunch of other things. But they actually called me and asked me to come up and do that. I'm like, how do you say no to Great Lakes Dragway? You can't. You can't say. So I'm super excited about that. So I got three bigger ones that we're doing that I get a race direct this year, which I'm super excited. So you are getting, you're going all over the place now. We're going everywhere this year, awesome. just like last year. So I'm excited. We're gonna, we got plans to go to Arizona in November. Yay. I got to come support Tony. He's my boy. Very cool. Very cool. He's a good guy. He's a great guy. I love yes, Tony. I do too. All of Team AZ are great people. Um, Bailey Beckner says NWO is going to win this top 16 race tonight too. Um, Travis Bernard has got this. Um, Rachel says good luck. Leo, NWO. NWA Raceway, Leo, something, 100%. Omar is August 17th, my daughter's birthday. This way's. What are they going to do? They're going to ride. They're going to run the last race. Because I was telling them, I was like, being this dark, I mean, won't y'all just wait until tomorrow? We can have it at the end. Call it a grudge, you know what I mean? And see who's actually winning. They were talking about splitting the pot a minute ago. Huh. I'll go pull my car around. We can pull my lights right here. <laughs> That's what, I thought they were going to do that just a second ago. We can also, I mean, Travis's backup, his uh, mirrors on his truck shoot lights backwards, too. I'll go take my flashlight over there. <laughs> That's like a real street race now. You see how they got the, it lit up, you know? Hey, it's a street race. Yeah. You run the track. <laughs> so who do you think is going to win this? Uh, I always have to root for my husband. <laughs> That was a crazy question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you uh, really think she's going to say somebody different? Come on now. No, Shay Beckner's going to win it even though he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. I've never seen it this dark. But anyway, we're from Georgia, and, like, we don't get, the like, the win-win unless it's, like, a bad storm or something like that. We have gnats, though. So we get yeah. those, too. Y'all got gnats too? Yeah, and mosquitoes. Oh, I hate mosquitoes. I hate those. Yeah. No. Well, yeah, I'm hoping. Um, so Wichita last year, the race we did, the ca big cash days we did in October last year, the wind was absolutely terrible. It was worse than this. Really? Like, it was head on wind. So like from where I was sitting as race director, like I left and both of my eyes were completely bloodshot. Like my face hurt and that San Antonio race that we went down to like <laughs> the wind was bad there too it was cold i'm not racing in cold anymore i'm like uh-uh if it's under 50 it? degrees uh, uh no i'm it. staying home i'm gonna curl up in my bed with my dogs <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what i have really enjoyed today though it's been it's been good seeing everybody because a lot of people you know we talk to online but we don't get to actually so the 217 boys, yes, I actually definitely. have not met them in person. Supposedly I met them in person in Vegas last year, but we all know after well, my brain doesn't remember anything after the green lights went on. But um, I actually got to meet them in person because we've been video calling, talking about the 217. We're actually going to make a trip up there sometime soon to actually go pit the exact location on the track because like this area that we have, we have like seven different areas we can have the track. Really? Yeah, I'm so excited. Like, I'm so excited. Like, that's, that's awesome. That's a big location. It, so they do their like farm festival up there every year. So like they have all the big tractors that come in there and everything for like that. Uh -huh. So you gotta think about how like big of an area yeah. you have to have to have all those big tractors and stuff. So. It's definitely, like, I'm so excited. And, like, it's also one of, like, it's so centrally lo located. Like, it's two hours from the St. Louis airport. It's two and a half hours from um, 
the Chicago airport. There's an airport that's even closer. Um, hotel. Hotel. Yeah, there's hotels locally to it. There's this little burger joint that they told me that I'm going to have to check out whenever I go up there. And Uh-oh. I like a good burger. We do too. So we'll have to go to dinner. <laughs> um, but also, like, it's just going to be so much fun. I'm excited um, about it. And I've heard a lot of people talking about it and going wanting to go to it. So it's five and a half hours. So it's five hours from us in Springfield. It's two hours from St. Louis. It's two and a half hours from Chicago. It's um, like five and a half hours from like Travis Sutton, Ohio, and stuff. So it's eight hours from Shea and Bailey. So like it's so centrally located and with like so many airports around that like I really hope we get a really big turnout for it. It's gonna be super fun it's gonna be super fast track i mean i'm just excited <laughs> i can tell <laughs> your voice is telling telling everybody that's very cool oh they're coming up uh-oh here we go i'm guessing you're going for right lane yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's ready. Watch the light. Oh! Right lane, Leo! Right lane! Right lane! Right lane! Right lane! Left lane was 202, right lane was 191. Woo! Margin of victory, 0. 0.0790. Good uh, race, guys. Left lane's been a little tricky. Hey! Good race, guys! They were like a team, team flag, and uh, The problem is I showed up. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I'm going to take these trophies. Well, the wind calmed down when you showed up. Yeah, it did. I left it back in Missouri. Thank you. We appreciate that very much. Or at least I tried to. <laughs> we appreciate it. Oh, it's Crackles, Brian said. It's Crackles is that burger joint. Okay, cool. Because, um, yeah, we're, we're burger fans. Burgers and Arby's. You can't go wrong. What you about? We eat anything now. <laughs> That's one of the, my like favorite things about traveling, too, is besides getting to, like, see everyone, is, like, the different places we got to go yep. eat. Like, there was, we went down to, what's it called? Bourbon Street in Louisiana and, like, got to eat there whenever we had the rain delay. Oh, but that was good. <sighs> good? It was so good. Like, I want to go back to uh, Louisiana just to go there. Just to go there? <laughs> yeah. Um, and, like, Vegas. Or, Travis and I are big in and out fans. So. We are, too. <laughs> it's, it's the whole debate, Whataburger or In-N-Out. And we are definitely in and out fans. And supposedly they're coming to Missouri. And I will be sitting there first in line whenever they're opening. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So they're supposed to be building one somewhere like Oklahoma, Kansas, and Missouri soon, and I cannot wait. Cassie's gonna be like first in line. I'm gonna take my PTO days and camp. <laughs> like my best friend already said that. So I was born in Minnesota, and then I was there till I was six. And then I grew up in California for a while, and my mom was gr she was born and raised in California. So I ha grew up on In and Out. Like, it's a tradition. Travis and I fly out to California. We're off the plane, and we're at In-N-Out eating lunch with my uncle within literally, <laughs> like, 40 minutes of us landing. Like, it's get off the plane, get our luggage, get our rental car, In-N-Out. Really? Yes. Same thing in Vegas. It was get off the plane, get our luggage, In-N-Out. I think we ate, like, In-N-Out, like, five times. Take full advantage of being able to eat it. Oh, I do. Every time we go to Texas, too, In-N-Out. Really? Yeah, after the Dallas race in December, uh -huh. we took... Aaron and um, Joe Olds and Rick Bromney and Cece and Carlo. We all, they're like, I'm like, you all want to go to dinner? Yeah, sure. Where are we going? In and out. <laughs> <laughs> that's like us in that chicken place. What is it called there? Raisin Cane's. Oh, that's so good. We, we have one have in Springfield. We have one in Springfield. Do so you? you? Yes. So if you drive back through Springfield, there's one in Springfield. Okay. Kay. Yes, Michael. That's Cassidy. Tony says there's one in Tucson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tony, are you gonna make sure I've in and out as soon as I get off the plane in Tucson too? <laughs> She's like, thanks. <laughs> Please and thank you. <laughs> are y'all coming back tomorrow for the race? Yes. 
Okay. We got a hotel. We're going to stay the night here, and then we're going to – we'll be back tomorrow for the race. Sweet. You want to come on tomorrow? Hang I'll come out. on. Hang out. Okay. Because you're a race director. I don't know – I'm learning, but I don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, actually, I think I know 90% of the racers that are here. Sweet. That's even better. There's only a couple that I – don't recognize which that makes it really easy to figure out names but i've actually <laughs> either i want to say 90 percent of the people that are here i've either race directed for or i'm hired on to race direct for them <laughs> this year so because i race direct for the wichita boys so sean miller metro brandon and then the 217 guys i'm race directing midwest classic for them and then this is my 417 little group right here so you know just about everybody yeah, most, very cool. Most of the time. <laughs> Sometimes. Very cool. Well, yes, I will use you and abuse you tomorrow. <laughs> Just as long as Travis doesn't need me. All right. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Okay. But he did all today by himself, so I don't think he'll need me as much tomorrow. <laughs> you never know. He's a guy. Come on. Oh, you got to come towards me. Oh, I got to come. come towards me. Oh, well, see, I can't see a daggum thing. Okay. Well, that way they can see who they're talking to. See who they're talking to. <laughs> but now you put me on the spot. I hate being put directly on the spotlight. Like, don't shine the light. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think it's gonna be a good race tomorrow. The weather's supposed to be better. It's supposed to be almost 80 tomorrow. Really? How's the wind tomorrow? It, I don't know. Let's look it up. That's my concern. I don't think it's supposed to be as windy tomorrow. Okay. T weather tomorrow. It is supposed to be 78 degree with a low of 66 with 11 miles an hour wind. That's not bad. That's not bad. And honestly, the 11 mile an hour wind, it isn't until like 9 o'clock. It's looking at 7 to 9, mostly 5. Oh, that's going to be awesome. So it's going to be beautiful. It's also going to be partly cloudy, which means we're not going to have, like, straight sunlight. Very so good. So it's going to be, like, perfect perfect weather. Yay. Michael Douglas says, superstar commentators right there. <laughs> <laughs> I love Michael Douglas. That's my boy. <laughs> That's your boy? I got a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's been up and coming. He's been working his butt off. He yes, really he has. has. Yes. He beat Travis last year in Wichita. Did you know he's singing at Redemption? Yeah. I'm, I was I'm like, excited. oh, wow. I'm excited for him. It's going to be a good time. But yeah, Michael's good peoples. He comes down and he'll race with us in Springfield. He'll race with us. Yeah, Michael, where are you? You were supposed to be here. Your name's on the registration list. Oh, get him. Get him. Maybe he's coming tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. But... Yeah, I messaged Aaron Thursday night. I'm like, are you coming to Tulsa? And he goes, why? And I go, well, come on. He goes, it's Easter weekend. I go, it's supposed to be over Saturday. He, I'm like, Sunday's just for rain. And he goes, oh, yeah. And he goes, <laughs> he goes well, I don't know if I want to come. He goes, every race I've been to with Travis is out. He keeps winning it. And I'm like, okay, then keep coming. You're the luck charm. <laughs> Guess he's like, well, come on then. <laughs> no one three next weekend saving money. Kansas City. I think that's one of their first races. So Chad Lauderdale race uh, is the race director up there for Kansas City. Very cool. I think we went to one of his races. Yes, last year you guys yes. were. Yes, the Sandlot. That's a very cool place too. They it's have fun. A real, they have a good setup. Yeah, it's kind of nice being in Springfield because within four hours of us, we have Wichita, we have Central Arkansas, we have Tulsa. Um, <clears throat> Joplin's within an hour of us, but we've kind of combined our groups a little bit. Um, St. Louis is within three hours of us. So, like, yeah, I have a lot. Yeah. It's kind of like the North Carolina, Georgia area yeah. where you guys have, like, a bunch of places <laughs> yeah. right there. So, we have that kind of in the Midwest, too, That's which is awesome. really nice. That's very cool. Yeah. Um, Georgia and South Carolina. I know Georgia had one. Now it's got, like, two or three. North Carolina's got a, a bunch. Of Caboodles. And so does South, South Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. I want to make it out to South Carolina. We got to come meet, meet, meet Mr. Kennedy out there. Christopher Kennedy, Pinky uh -huh. Tuned. Yeah. Pinky Tuned Racing. Yeah. He's a 
he he's, is really nice. We talk to him on the phone at least once a week, if not more, for like an hour or more. Like Chris is probably like we've never met him in person. Really? No, but he's like definitely like one of Travis's. Like he was one of Travis's like OG sponsors. Like it was Midwest Hobbies, which is our local hobby sh shop. It was Caldwell, and then it was Pink Dude. So like Pinky's been there from like day one with Travis, and like. His batteries are fantastic. His motors are fantastic. Like, if you haven't tried a pinky tune battery or motor, like, you, you need got to. to. Yes, you yes. need to. Let's see that. Pinky tune, um, RC Speed Secret, Art. Art. Hey, God, I love that man. Art is such a great person. He sponsors all the races. Like, name one race last year that you went to that Art wasn't a sponsor of some sort. I can't think of one. I can't think of one either. Like, Art is out there in the community, constantly supporting. He supports the racers. So remember to support the people that support the races. Thank you. Yes. I, I'll, me and Richie try to hone that in because without them, where are these races? Exactly. Like, people, like, as a race director, there's some people that understand it, but other people don't understand how much time and energy and money goes into putting up these events. Yeah. Like, just to find a place that you can run a race most of the time you're going to have that insurance for these events is you know that's another cost porta potties for these lights lighting for these events the tree making sure you have backup parts for your tree you know the, the softwares everything like yep. there's so much work that goes into putting on these events that make sure you thank your local race director because they really do a lot for it and your local race directors are the ones that help bring more people to those big events yep redemption 2.0 was actually the first event that like the 417 went to and it was dino and travis were actually the only two that drove up there and that's actually where we met the wichita boys really um we put it right next to them that's where we met like brad waldrop aaron klein and logan klein actually took travis out at that race really yes he did so uh, Logan's fast. Yeah. Him and Travis has lined up a couple times, but um, Redemption 2.0 is actually where like people were like, wait, there's a group in Springfield? <laughs> yep. Hi, here we are. <laughs> we're here. So it kind of put, you know, where we actually started coming out and put racing. You on the map. Yeah. And then last year, Travis and I just went heads, heads in like we just jumped in the deep end. I think we ended up, so I personally, between Wichita and Springfield, and then that Dallas race that I ran in December, I r held 20 races last year. Really? Yes. We went through a 16 week stretch where we did not have a single weekend off. Dang. I was exhausted. I wanna say, okay, I don't, I don't remember the race it was. I'm bad with that. But I watched a live stream that you did and you just put the, um, the live going. And I wanna say, huge shout out to you for doing that. Because people seem to think that you have to have a live stream company. No, you don't. It was San Antonio. I just threw it up on my phone. Because a couple of people had uh, messaged me and they had also messaged Assad and was like, hey, are you guys gonna stream it? Yes. Are you guys gonna stream it? And I'm like, well, I'm like, I'll just throw it up on my phone. Let's just plug my phone in, we'll stream it up. And like, you have an iPad for me to do the bracket off of? I go, it's reality. I, don't need my phone so we just threw it up and i'm like hey guys you can watch it but i don't know how much i'm going to talk to you well i mean hi mike huge shot for doing that because you had i mean a lot of people were tuning in and watching and i had like 30 something at one point i was like yeah. well, hey peoples i mean that i mean that's what we try to sh you know because we actually created a facebook page to teach people how to live stream because i mean it's not hard I mean, if you want to do just Facebook, you can do just Facebook. But, I mean, it's not a hard thing, and it gets so many more people involved in it. Yeah. And so, like, we have a couple regulars that actually come into my work. So I work at Come and Go, the gas station. The gas station. Let me make sure that clear. But, so I work there, and, like, there's a couple of guys that come in, and they're like, uh, one of them comes up to me every day, you racing this weekend? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you racing next weekend? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> you guys should come check it out. My district manager actually came in a couple weeks ago and he goes, let me know when your guys' next is locally. I want to come check it out. Travis is like, we'll give him my backup car. He can race with us. <laughs> I'm like, yes, yes. Come Very out. cool. So I'm hoping he comes out because um, our next one's at the end of April. So I'm really excited 
to hopefully get him out to get him immersed into it too because i'm just trying to build a little local springfield spot we got to find a new spot our track is i mean i got two inches of ick on the start line there prep yeah <laughs> yeah there's yeah. a there's a big groove there and it's asphalt and asphalt is so difficult to clean concrete if you have a concrete track and you want to clean your track Y'all need to reach out to Sean Miller, Mitro, and it's actually John Smith on Facebook. Reach out to them. They have a great program on how to clean a, con a concrete track. They really? clean their track every time before every race. Asphalt, I still don't know how to clean it. We tried it once. It kind of just made it greasy down there. But, I mean, it at least got some of the prep up. We took duct tape and ripped up some of it last time. So Did that work? It actually did. Did it? Yeah, but we weren't racing on it at the end of the day. But yeah, we, we tried, that's where Travis first tried the tape. Um, so we just laid it over our actual groove that we already had. And whenever we ripped it up, Travis like ripped it up fast, like taking off a band and I <laughs> ripped it up slow. Cause I'm like, maybe I can get some of this prep up. Uh huh. But yeah. yeah. I can see him over there just packing his stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably like, where's my wife? Mike Granada says, hi, Cass. Hi, Mike. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm super excited. Mike is one of the San Antonio boys. They invited me down to come. Well, we had I had posted to Travis. I go, hey, if we're not going to go to Florida, let's go to Texas. Uh -huh. And Mike and Assad reached out to me and were like, you want to race drag? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> sure. Sure, if I'm there. Oh, that's my other thing is, like, so if you're going to have a local race and if, you know, Travis and I end up coming to it, why have a racer race directed if i'm there and you like know. i'm not racing uh -huh. like i don't mind stepping in and helping out because then that race the race director, director that normally you know would like to race then they can race and they can focus on their program and they don't have to focus on everything else see a lot of race directors um that are racers they don't want to race because they're the race director so and it makes them what's the word i'm looking for it makes them feel like if they were to win it would look bad which you know it's part of the game but as long as like like travis has said something to like one of our locals i think it was in dallas he's like she's being super hard on us and I, he's like she's being she's being exactly the same to you as she is everyone else but you also have to think about it you race with her on a regular basis like you know how she race tricks so it might seem like she's better on you but she's really not because she's being fair and that's the thing is like i've told people i will disqualify my husband faster than i will disqualify anyone ain't that amazing <laughs> well the thing about it is is i have to like as a race director i if something would be a technicality against my husband and i was the race director on it it's gonna look absolutely terrible on me if i call it his way yep so at the end of the day, and like Travis knows that, and he takes that risk every time he goes to line up. Now, obviously, Travis runs a very, very fair game whenever he races. So that's an added bonus for me. But that's my biggest thing is like, if I'm coming to race direct and my husband's racing, I will disqualify him quicker than anyone. Now, I might be the one sleeping on the couch that <laughs> night, but also I'm the one that's driving home, so. Oh, you drive? He's the passenger princess. No, really? Well, he drove so last year shut up the only places travis drove was he drove to super chips because i had to work so he drove there and back and he drove to one of the wichita races and then he drove the last three hours home from straight lines last year and that is all he drove so do you prefer to drive no <laughs> <laughs> no but most of the time we take my vehicle but even then whenever we take his truck he's like Hey, go! You get to drive. See, no, 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 no. He drives because if he was in the passenger seat, he would be telling me how to drive. Oh no, he tells me how to drive too. So I went. There's this. <laughs> there, there's this little place in Springfield. Uh, so let me try that. Out, that. A little novelty shop, and they sell sell backseat driver's licenses. <laughs> so I got Travis a backseat driver's license. And anytime he tries to tell me how to drive, I go, do you have your license on you? <laughs> he does. He does. He pulls it out. I go, yeah, no, I need to see that. So now he pulls it out. <laughs> do you say, okay, I'm fixing to pull over? See, I'll be like, okay. I'm oh, I've done that a couple times. I've told him, I'm like, listen, you have two options. Either I'm going to pull over. Like, I can pull over. You can drive. If you don't like the way I'm driving, you can drive. He's, like, he's like, 
He goes, no, I got a nap. I got a rest to do this. And I'm like, and some of the times it's whenever I'm going to race track, I'm like, I'm race directing. I go, you're racing. I'm like, I understand. Like, both of them are big jobs. I go, but I got a lot more work to do. Uh Uh-huh. And he's like, you're driving. (laughs) I'm like, okay, then you're paying for gas. You're paying for gas. (laughs) And all my snacks. And all your snacks. Yes. (laughs) Okay, now I do have a question. King of the Streets. Yes. He took home a large sum of money. Yes. Did you get your portion? Okay, so <laughs> he brought home $21,960. Oh, so down to the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I know that number real well. Uh, so he brought it home. So we ended up going out to dinner that night, and then we went gambling because I like to gamble. We left most of the money back at the hotel, and I joked with them before we, or at the Airbnb, I joked with them before we left, and I go, I go, can I have $100? And he goes, no. And I go, what? What? And so then we get out to dinner and we go to the casino and he hands me 1000 Oh, okay. And I'm like, okay. And then he took me shopping. And then we got back and he paid my property taxes and paid to put new tags on my car. And paid off a bunch of debt and bought our test and tune for the thing. So, yes, I got my portion of it. Okay. Anytime he's ever won money, he shares really well. And, like, at the end of the day... I always tell him, I go, that's not my money. I'm not the one that worked for it. I might have drove. I might have helped pay for the trip. I go, but that's your money. You're the one that bought the cars. You're the ones that put the time and the effort into it. You're the one that's doing all the testing. I go, you're the one that, you know, tuned the car, drove the car, prepped the tires. I go, that's your money. That's not my money. Right. That's your money. I'm like, but I will take my 10%. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my 10%. I like that. <laughs> I mean, most, you know. Travis and I, we're kind of weird in our relationship. We actually don't share our incomes. His money's his money. My money's my money. Like, he works hard for his work hard for my money. And which some people think that's unpractical. But Travis's mom and dad went through a divorce because of money. My mom had issues with my father and with money, too. So it's what works best for our relationship because of the way that we both grew up. There you are. We pay our bills together, and that's about it. And then we travel and we split it 50-50. So, like, he'll pay for the hotel, I'll pay for the dog walker. Like, he's going to pay for the gas in his truck, I'm going to pay the gas in my car. But he's buying dinner. He's (laughs) buying dinner? So, who's buying dinner tonight? Him. Okay. That's his job. Oh, that's his job? Yes. Gotcha. He's, he, he, so, when Travis and I met, he was very straightforward. If we go out, I'm paying. And the independent woman that I'm at is, no, I can pay sometimes. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. I've learned just to let him pay. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. Yeah. It's okay. See, um, I'm the stay-at-home mom now. Um, and when I say stay-at-home mom, I sound terrible because my kids are grown now. You're going to stay at home wifey. Yeah, yeah. See, I asked Travis if I could be the stay-at-home wifey. He said that's the goal by the end of 2025. So I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, I'm not used to it because I still want to make an income. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um, but anyway, I ended up taking care of people and let me just say, a stay at home wifey, <laughs> she works, she just doesn't get paid for it. <laughs> she works, she just doesn't get paid for it. No, yes. 100%. But, you know, um, yeah. stay at home moms don't either. And like, kudos to them. Like, they have just as much work as anyone that's working and raising kids. Oh, absolutely. Call them money, yeah. yeah. Because, see, the stay, the stay at home mommy or wives now um have the adult kids and the adult kids are now needing mommy to do things during the day so that they can work right <laughs> you, know? you know hey can you watch the grandbaby hey i don't have time to go grocery shopping here's my debit yeah. card get it yeah so yeah 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 i uh travis is with us he's disabled so i definitely have the whole entire work 40 hours a week and help yes. take care of his dad also so it's always can you bring me home this can you bring me home this yep. can you bring me home this yes larry <laughs> can you bring me home this is it at my gas station no no <laughs> well, he's gonna have to wait till i go to walmart when are you going to walmart sometime let's see i love walmart because they do the delivery service now oh yes we have high v so high v also does it and that's a card and ship too where you can order groceries and have it delivered from like target and stuff like that too oh, that's I think Target, it's actually, if you spend over $35, you can do it. You're not there? Oh. Have you got everything broke down? 
Oh, okay. Uh, guess, you gotta go? Yeah, I guess we gotta go to the hotel. <laughs> All we right. will talk more tomorrow. It sounds good. All right. Thanks, thanks Cassidy. Uh, bye. <laughs> You're good. I will. All right. Well, the race is over. We're, we're fixing to check out of here. Just remember, stay true to yourself. Stay true to the hobby. You and have fun doing it. And we'll see you tomorrow morning.